Welcome back to Rodian Radio, episode 329. I think that's right. Uh, first of all, let me start out by saying uh, thank you to everybody on the live chat, everybody that isn't in participating in the live chat, everybody that subscribed, everybody that hit the like, everybody that's sharing this. Thank you very much. I appreciate you all. Um, I'm your host, Norbies. Uh, first of all, let me uh, mention that uh, the membership is back up. So I think we left off before we got demonetized. We were at 200. Uh, from what I remember, we're already past 50. We're hoping to get back up there, get you guys back in. Tony has said that uh, more exclusive footage is coming on to the membership, so you don't want to miss out on that. You definitely want to uh, become a member, uh, whichever one you want. There's two of them. Uh, we, have, uh, just, uh, we have the regular one. And then we have the Rodian Warrior for, you know, those that want to give it that extra love. So I appreciate you guys. Uh, also, the Super Chat is back up. So if you want to go out there and uh, buy me some Taco Bell, thank you. Also, and if you'd like to also promote your business through the Super Chat, go right ahead. Put your business down there. We will shout you out. Aside from that, um, for those of you that might have been... Not up to date. We do have a new intro, and uh, it's pretty dope. It's like the blueprint of West Coast hip hop. If if you if you saw all the people that were on there, a lot of them made a huge impact to what West Coast hip hop is. Um, I I am I will do. I will admit that I do miss that one line where Ice Cube says, "If you don't like Tony A, well, fuck you." I miss that line. Um, Aside from that, uh, I just want to say that uh, this is Rodian Radio, the podcast that shines light on independent artists uh, because this is what it's about. This is what Rodian Radio is about, you know, giving the light and the shine to people that deserve it because Rasa does have talent. I know some people out there say, you know, only specific people have talent, but no, Rasa has talent also. Uh, but that should be it for now. Without further ado, he's no stranger to Rodian Radio. He's a staple in hip hop. He is an independent artist, an entrepreneur, and community activist. None other than Hypnotic. What's up, big dog? What's up, Hypnotic? I like what you said earlier. Rasa has talent, dog. Because thank you. That's facts, bro. And we don't get enough credit for the talent that we do have. You're totally right about that. And it, glad to be here, though. Another episode, Rodium. I know, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it, it was due. It was due. Yeah, it's been a minute, dog. It has it's been a minute. Been, I've been busy, though, homie. So. And that's a beautiful thing. Right, that's a beautiful right. thing that you could say that you've been busy. Because that's one thing that uh, we love seeing over here is when we see artists that come through here be starting shows. Right. Be part of the community. Yeah. Rise up. Grow. You know, definitely. I'm trying to. That's that's what I try to do. I'm, I'm always busy with the shows, dog. But like, it's if I can, if, if my schedule permits it, I'm I'm trying to be out there with the community too. You know, what I'm saying there's a big court case going on with Eden and the Justice Eight, and I'm in full support of them. I just haven't been able to hit a, you know, court date yet. You know what I mean? No, no, it's understandable. But it's just you know busy, and and I do have a job too, dog. So it's just it's hard to do everything, and yeah. but I want to be there. I am there in spirit, and uh, I Definitely. try to do what I can through through my music and through my voice and shit. So. Definitely, and that that's the that's the part that you know many of us can't be there, right? Even though we want to, and we should, but um, but we got lives too. But we we can share it. We can uh. Use our platform. Yes. We don't have to physically be yes. there yes. to shed light on something. Exactly. Dog, you know what I'm saying? Because awareness is a part of it. Yes. You can't spark change until people are aware of something. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's that's how it starts. It's always that's how it always starts by you know word of mouth. Right. Everything always starts by word of mouth. It's always worked. Right. And now that all of us have these new these platforms that we can speak on, this this is our new uh, I guess grapevine. You know, we heard it through the grapevine. Where were the grapevine? Yes, now, yes. In a sense, and then and then I thank you for 
always being there for the community because I see you out there talking about our community. Right. And unfortunately, not, not too many, not too many of us are mad enough to really start also being a part of it. Well, I think some, some people depend on the platform they have, even with artists, with, with, with different musicians, that's not their niche, bro. It's yeah. more like some people are comfortable doing what they do, which yes. might be like some gangster shit or yes. might be like some, some trap shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And, their mind isn't on that. All they care about is fame and getting clout and all yeah. that shit. But, you know, you had a homie like Eden who's out there, bro, for, yeah. for all kinds of hint, for the street vendors, for yes. anybody. Everybody he he um confronted, I guess you can say, yeah. or protested against, yeah. they deserved it, bro. Because, Definitely. Because they were doing some shady ass yeah. shit. They were being racist. They were being yeah. uh, abusive towards vendors or yes. towards... He and he just he stepped up for everybody, dog. And he really um, did. And so we need to have his back, dog. Definitely, we do need to have his back. I mean, uh, I think he has two lawyers, from what I take. I'm not exactly sure. I know he. Had, oh, I'm sorry. He had one lawyer, he which is one, right? I think it might be Rosenberg. Yeah, Rosenberg took Rose, over. He Rosen had one before, I think, in Rosenberg. Ah, uh, okay. So Rosenberg took over. Yeah, so yeah. if in, somebody wants to get update, it, probably Rosenberg would be the guy to right, talk right. to. Hey, uh, is you know. If, uh, Tony, oh shit! I was about oh. to say, is Tony here? Now? Tony, <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck, bro? What are you doing? Oh, I, I, I thought I start the show. I, Why? I didn't what? think, I didn't think you were gonna come. What, what gave you that idea? Well, I, I saw all these podcasters creaming themselves, saying that you got locked up. <laughs> <laughs> these That's podcasters all. creaming themselves. Dog. <laughs> this was it. Damn, homie. I was about to say, where this fool at, dog? I didn't know I was going to be interviewed by Norby's, dog. Shit. It's all good, bro. <laughs> Thank you, Norby. You kept my seat warm. I right, stop. So, all good, my brother. How you doing, man? I'm doing good, dog. Just, uh, you know, it's, it's always a blessing just to be out and about, you know what I'm saying? Being active and uh, bringing yeah. awareness to me, my music, and things going on out there, dog. Have you heard any good stories lately? Good stories. Uh, it's a lot of, there's a lot, bro. I mean... Uh, like I, I was just talking to Norby's about the Justice Eight and stuff. You know what I'm saying? What about Tony A getting locked oh, up? Did you hear about that one? That's right. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> I heard you got raided, dog. I heard. Uh, I heard the same LAPD, thing too. Like five. No sheriffs. I think it I saw the. the it was post, sheriffs. Bro. Yeah. 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 How you here, dog? What's going on? Uh, this is Tony AI. This is not really <laughs> me, bro. This is who said Tony AI. <laughs> so it's, it, it's not me, you guys. It's AI. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know what, big dog. I'm going to go over something real quick with you. Yeah. The first time you were here was July 15th, 2020. Damn. 2020. The second time you were here was August 4th, 2021. The third time you were here was August 3rd, 2022. So pretty much two years later, here you are again. Damn. So thank you for being a part of Rhodium Radio, bro. So let me just fix this here. That's crazy. Yeah, bro. But I just want to thank you once again for coming. I know you don't live too close. You're not around the corner. So, you know, I thank you for that, bro. Um, other than that, how did you like Norby's, uh, um, you know, introduction? Hey, it, was, uh, it was pretty feed of it, dog. Huh. You know what I mean? He's on his way. If you never need to take a piss break or something, just let him come in, dog. You know what I mean? No, bro. When I need to take a shiznit, <laughs> I'll let you know. Run the fade, dog. Yeah, Run the fade, Exactly. Homie. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Big dog, other than that, today is Wednesday. How has your weekend? How was your weekend, bro? Take us back to Friday. Friday, what I do Friday? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday. Well, okay, no, Saturday was my uh, nephew's birthday. I speak uh, it's closer to the mic, please. There you go. Uh, Saturday, we had a celebration for my nephew. He's, I, I mean, I don't, man, I grew up with, I have like 17 nephews and nieces, dog. Damn. I was an uncle at the age of five, so they're Damn. all my age, dog. You know what I'm saying? So he turned like 26, 25, 27, one of okay. those. But it's like, you know, we grew up in similar, you know, uh, a lot of my nephews and stuff. But we had a, a Carlsbad. We were in Carlsbad. We were just at a little bar and shit, drinking with the familia and stuff like that. It's good to drink. <laughs> I got a little tipsy, dog. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, my other nephew had hooked me up with some, some called Walrus. Really? It was an IPA, but it was real smooth. Dog. Okay, okay. I had three of those. I was feeling really, really You know, good. I tried drinking those IPAs, bro, and um, I just think that they just hit me hard too fast. Right. No, you they know. do. You know. That so. one was smooth, but I usually get, like, headaches. with. But that one, yes. I kind of didn't have a headache. So I, I, I remember one time I went to a brewery with my son, okay. and um, I didn't know what the fuck to order because I'm thinking Modelo, Pacifico, you know, Carta Blanca. No. Yeah. 
just his weird ass fucking names. Yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah. like, okay, um, do you have anything that tastes like Blue Moon? No. Do you have anything that tastes like, uh, 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 what's that orange one? The, uh, um, sh- shock, shock Top? Yes. Shock okay. Top. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, no. I go, okay, can I taste that one? And then they're like, oh, that one, it, it has this and it has that and it has this and it's working. I was like, Okay, what about that one? I like the tap thing, you know. Yeah. But with this one, you got to understand that it has this. Like, can you just give me a fucking beer? Seriously, <laughs> I don't know how to order at a brewery, bro. Well, the breweries, I know they have their own beer that they make. But me and my brother, we usually like if there's a little Spanish name on it. Yeah, we're gonna try that one. A little raza, okay. little jalapeno on it or something like right, that. Right, 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 right. Or like it'll have a little Spanish twist yeah. to it, Mexicano or like. like okay, we what want would get me one. fucked up? We want that one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. You know, so uh, I, that's what I would do. Like, what, what's strong? I'm trying to get like tore up really fast, and I'm not trying to drink that much. You ever had the ones? There's ones, there's some that have like actual jalapeno in it, where it's actually kind of really. It kind of goes down the, the throat and like warm and makes you feel. It's not the best, bro. I don't know if I want a jalapeno <laughs> going down my throat. <laughs> Yeah, homie, we do a fruity jokes, right? <laughs> it, you said it. Hey, we live in that era, dog. It's all freedom, homie. You know? uh, yeah, I know. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. But other than that, bro, so you had a great weekend, bro. I know you've been doing a lot of music. You haven't been here for about two years. Right. But I know from time to time, we do tap in with each other. Right. You've been doing a lot of shows. Uh, um, how has being on the road been for you, bro? Like, when you go somewhere else... Uh, well, when you started going on the road and you meet people that say, man, I like your shit. Right. Like, you don't live in Boise, Idaho, or you don't right, live over right. here, but they recognize you or they know your, your music. How does that feel, bro? You know what's crazy is that, um, oh, it's a, first of all, it's a blessing, bro, just to, um, you know, the work that I've been doing. I've, I've been doing music forever, dog. You know, I dropped my first album 2015, 2017. It's yeah, almost yeah, been yeah. Like, that's almost 10 years, bro. And, um, but... You know, just the work that I put in and being able to get booked, you know what I'm saying, and paid for some of these shows, you know what I'm saying? The, most of my shows now, I'm getting paid somehow, some way, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But that that's to be earned, bro. But when I do these out-of-state shows, you know, you gain fans. I'm gaining new fans, you know what I'm saying? Some of them, they do actually recognize me and, and, and treat me a certain way, bro. Like, it, it's kind of crazy. Like, a lot of artists have said, sometimes you get more love out-of-state. Oh, you always will. You know what I'm saying? And, um... And I've noticed that, like, they, and it, it could be, like, a Cali thing, too, but where they feel like, oh, like, Cali did them, did them real deal, fools, or, like, it's something about the aura that we bring. Yeah. And me having, like, the Cholo Stilo being pelon and dressed, like, with my flannels. I don't know. It could be that. It could be my charisma, too, but, like, we get a lot of love out of state, bro, and it's dope just to have people, on the, in a sense, be starstruck, bro. Like, I've had a few encounters where... You know what I'm saying? They're like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I can't believe you're here. To, exactly, you know what I mean? Bro. And it's kind of like, damn, like, that's dope. I always tell a lot of up-and-coming artists, bro, forget about L.A., bro. I know you're from here, but think outside of L.A., bro. Right. I've it, heard you say that before. You know, the, the, the world is much bigger than your neighborhood. You know, a lot of these guys just make hood music, and the music never gets out of the swamp meets or car shows. And that's pretty much where it stays, bro. Yeah. Now, that's a good market to be tapped into, but wouldn't you want to be known on a bigger scale? Exactly. You know? And that's, that's what I try to do, bro. If you hear my music, anybody that supports me, they know that I got the activist stuff where I uplift my raza. I got the stuff with MC Magic, and I'm doing shows yeah. with MB Riders. I can I can change it to some lovey-dovey type shit. Yeah. Or, uh, and I can do some hard, up-tempo West Coast shit, too. So I don't want to be just labeled as one kind of rapper, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. that's where a lot of people... They're good at what they do, but they're they're scared to, I guess, take risks or right. try something new. You know what I'm saying? Well, you, you want to show your versatility yes. in your music. Exactly. And I think I think that's good. You shouldn't just stick to one style. Right. Because, look, let's be honest. You know, LL Cool J had a song called Rock the Bells all the guys fucking loved. Crazy. And then he came out with I Need Love. And he's one of the biggest rappers ever, bro. Exactly, bro. And he knows the business. And look at his longevity now. Exactly. You know, and the reason why those guys are still out there is because one thing that I always encourage the new generation is learn the business. I don't want to hear you 20 years from now, my label ripped me off. Right. Because that's all they do. Right. I had a guy here named Lonzo from the World Class Wrecking Crew. You know, a lot yeah. of people consider him the godfather of West Coast hip hop because he released the very first West Coast hip hop album from the West Coast. Right. Okay. Um, now, other people release singles, but he released the first album. Gotcha. So... People left uh, the World Class Wrecking Crew saying Lonzo ripped me off. Then they go to Ruthless. They leave Ruthless. Easy E ripped me off. Then they go to Suge, Death Row. Then they leave. 
Suge ripped me off. And I'm like, bro, you, you cried that story three times. Right. When you're going to learn and, and adjust. I, exactly. But just like you said, a lot of people, some artists like to be pampered or they don't, and they don't learn how to upload their stuff on Spotify. Little stupid stuff, man, that I've been doing, all this tedious work. Yeah. But it's stuff that I know how to do when I don't need a manager, I don't need a label to do it for me. But the fact that I know how to do it and I'm informed on certain things. Right, right. That gives me some leverage because, you know, if, if someone was to try to sign me, like, okay, well, you, what you're doing isn't that special. You know what I'm saying? I could do that myself, right. but don't rate me. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. You have your leverage. You got to learn things. And being independent, it's not for everybody, bro, but, like, it, it has its perks, bro. But yeah. you got to invest yourself, though. Definitely. That's the hard part. But there are investors out there. There's people that if they really fuck with you. You definitely have to you invest out. in yourself, bro. And there's a lot of, and, and part of investing in yourself is this, promoting yourself on your fucking page. Right. There's a lot of people, bro, that literally, bro, have begged me for interviews, have begged me. And I said, you're on, let's go. Do me a favor, post this up, let's promote it. After the after the, the interview, if you want to delete the flyer, that's fine. As long as you posted right. it, your friend, your fans know you're here. You can't get them to post a goddamn flyer, bro. And then you're like, now I wonder why you're struggling. Now I know why you're struggling. Right. It paints a picture already. Yeah, you, there, there was this guy, he called himself an influencer, which I don't understand. I influence people to buy the, the tequila that I drink and the yeah. beers that they... And they do. They right. do. So right. maybe I'm an influencer too. Yeah. But... This guy hits me up and he tells me, uh, man, he goes, I'm an influencer. I'm going around sharing my story. And I just said, okay, bro, here's my number. Call me. Tell me what you, wh what are you talking about influencer? What is an influencer? Well, years ago, you know, I got with a girl. I loved her. I fell in love. I got her pregnant. And then three years later, come to find that it's not my kid. So now I'm just traveling, telling my story. <laughs> and I just said, so in other words, you're, you're going to tell people that you got with a fucking hood rat. That's what you did, homie. He's, he's making something out of nothing. Though. Yeah. <laughs> I go, that's it. At least. <laughs> I, and I said, that's what you did, bro. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, well, I don't see it like that. I loved it. Okay, cool. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Anyway, posted yes. the flyer. And here's what he told me. Uh, I, I don't really post it what the fuck? He, on my page because I don't want to fuck with my brand. Oh, gosh. Yeah. So, lo mandé la verga. So, I just well, yeah, told yeah. Why is he, I mean, I mean, come on, bro. How you going to come and ask? be interviewed and then not want to post a flyer that, that makes no sense Fuck on my branding so <laughs> you well, know he's but a, he's an influencer dog he, he he has a specific you know thing he's pushing so i guess you you're getting rated and shit it's not gonna look good for his brand dog. right like, exactly trouble, trouble seems to follow you don't see you? and that's what i that's i don't what, know why i'm here dog see that's like, exactly what i was thinking and i'm glad you're saying it <laughs> But I'm here, dog. I'm taking my risk, dog. Yeah, exactly. Is that, is that, is that, is that viene la jura? La jura, la jura. Yeah. <laughs> blood in, blood out, dog. Oh, la placa. That's what you say in fucking, I think, in Spanish movies. But um, now, other than that, bro, oh, la, chota. la chota también. Yeah, yeah. What's another one? Placa, chota, jura. La jura. ¿Qué más, güey? ¿Qué más? La policía. Policía. <laughs> Puercos. Los puercos, yeah. los pendejos, los mamones. <laughs> so, fuck. Okay. There's a lot of slang out there, dog. There is, bro. There is. For everything. Bro. Los podcasters. Los podcasters. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So now, as far as music, um, I don't think I interviewed you, bro. Maybe before you did the MC Magic song, or no, no, we've had, we've had some interviews with the MC Magic. Really? Okay. Yeah. What what came next after that? Uh, I know because you had so many songs, bro. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, honestly, like since my last interview with you, I, I was promoting my album Day to Days. Yeah, I've had a few singles since then, but uh -huh. honestly, dog, like you had mentioned, I've been doing more shows than anything. So me being on the road, dog, like that's been the main focus, like the last year and a half. You know what I'm saying? But with that said. I've been in the studio hard, bro. So I got a whole catalog of music that's ready to go. Yeah. Now it's just a matter of planning it. I actually have a new uh, music video dropping February 22nd. It's called Like the West. And uh, it's um, with some homeboy named Arkeez. He does Talk Box. It's okay. really dope, bro. This Like the West is like old school vibes. It's, uh, it's up-tempo, West Coast. Shout out my boy Hank Figs. Hank Figs has done beats for Little Grifo, Little Rob, and stuff like that. He's out of San Diego. Okay. And so is R. Keys out of San Diego. So I was, I, we did a video in San Diego también. So February 22nd, bro. The video's pretty cool, dog. You know, you know me, dog. I have storylines in my video. So 
you know, I, I can't wait for y'all to see that. Well, well, why the 20 seconds? Was that, is that a specific? No, just because it just happened to be, you know, just random. Uh, I actually talked to Magic recently. I, I was asking for some advice. And that's the thing, too, man. If you're an artist, bro, yeah. if you're tapped in with gente, you know what I mean? If they show you love, like, Magic's been cool as fuck with me, dog. And every now and then I hit him up. Hey, hey dog, when do you release your videos? You know what I'm saying? When do you release your single? Because yeah. everybody does sh shit differently. Yeah. And he was telling me the industry standard is uh, they release some uh, videos on Friday. But he goes, I like to do it Thursday. And he goes, it gives him an extra day. That's just his point of view. But right, then right. he says he releases the single and the video at the same time. Because what I've been doing is I release the single, right? And then I'll release a video two weeks later. But he drops the single on, on Spotify, all the distribution, and the video at the same time. So I'm going to oh, try man. that this time and see how I sound. got to try does. something different. You know, right. it, it doesn't hurt. Mix it up, bro. If it works for him, it might work for you. And then it might not, but we got to try. Right, exactly. You know, Take risks, dog. You got you to gotta improve and, and see what works. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, I took a risk starting this podcast. Right. Look hey, at me you now. Been, you Wednesday, Sunday's right, but you've been putting in little extra days. Yeah. Man. You, gotta see what, you know, you got to experiment. Yeah, dog. I've been trying. I got another one called... Um, Wrote him after dark. We'll yeah, eat, I heard we'll, you talking about that. We'll go on at 10 30, 11 o'clock. Start drinking, <laughs> talking shit. On a weekend? It doesn't matter. But Damn. most likely weekend on a Saturday. Oh, right. so after you guys get home from eating your top ramen, you guys can tap in, get your modelo. <laughs> Everybody's and, gonna come in fucking drunk already. Yeah, bro. bro and then we just jump. We just have a conversation. Right. That's all it is, bro. But uh no, we have fun here, bro. You know what? One thing about podcasting that I find fun, because there's a lot of negativity involved because there's the, the, the crabs in a bucket mentality that was in Chicano rap, now it's in podcasting. <laughs> That's it's, what it is. And unfortunately, like I was telling my boy right here, um, Le Leon Lyon, uh, it's in the activist community too, dog. Like It just seems to be competition or, or just haterism or whatever you want to call it, jealousy. See, see and this is the, the billion-dollar question. Why? I don't know. My mom always says, like, razas, la más peor con raza. Like, they're always yeah. the worst. Have you ever heard that quote, bro? I don't know who made it up. I don't know if it's new or old. Uh, the worst enemy yeah. Yeah, for a Mexican, 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 Mexican is another Mexican, bro. Yeah, we always hear that, bro. And and and, it, and, it, and it, it's almost proof because everybody's beefing, dog. Rappers, yeah. podcasters, activists. I mean, even the ones that are not Mexican that are podcasting <laughs> hate my Mexican ass. So, <laughs> so I just, I don't know, bro. I... You know, when I started this, I didn't know who was podcasting. I just went. And then I started bringing podcasters on to help them. And now they don't talk to me. You know what? It, it puts people like me in a situation, too, because like, I might be cool with so-and-so. I might be cool with so-and-so. How they going to feel if I hop on this show? Same with, same with the music. And dog. it sucks. Yes, it sucks. But I keep it neutral. To, yeah. You know, that's what I try to do. Like, even with the music, you know, I'm doing shows with the NB Riders, right? I know Magic and them got their disputes and shit, but, you know, MB Rogers got love for me. I got love for them. I got love for MC Magic. He got love for me. And it, business is business. Right, dog. right, right. And and at the end of the day, I'm not talking shit about nobody. I'm not taking sides. But. You know, uh, I'm going to say something. I've had Magic here twice, okay? Big D, his manager. Have you met him? Yes. Big D? Okay, Big D. Cool dude. And Kirk are my brothers, bro. Okay, I see them as my brothers. I can call them and talk to them about anything on some grown man shit, when NB Riders hit me up, yeah. they hit me up like years ago, bro, to come on here. Uh, after the first Magic interview. Right. We want to tell our story. Right, their side. No problem. No problem. Um, maybe like two years later, because I've been doing this now four years, they hit me back. Hey, we want to come on again. Magic had already been here a second time. Right. Now, they said what they said. Okay. And I think it surprised them when I said this. I said, I'll be honest with you, bro. Magic never even mentioned you guys once to me. Right. You know, he might have said it in an interview. I work with these guys. I did this. But as far as like bad mouthing. Right. He's never said anything negative about you guys. And he's been here twice. I, and I talked to him on the phone. I seen him at shows. And I just told him the truth. And yes. I think it surprised him because they probably thought I was going to say something like, he can't stand your ass. Right, right, right. You know, but no, it wasn't like that. Big D calls me the next day and tells me, bro. I'm glad you gave them a platform so that they can speak their truth. That's dope, man. Yeah. There was no hate, no animosity there right. whatsoever. And that's the way we should be. Exactly. If I see you winning, why is it going to hurt me to say, that fucking lame. Right, exactly. You know, no. You know what? That dude is winning. And you know what? He's you, doing something right. He's doing something right. You might see my kind heart and say, come on, Tone. Right. 
And that's what I'm saying, dog. Like, in the business, too, in this music shit, like, I do a lot of different promoters, dog. And, and just being in, in different areas, and I've ni- I've niched my... I've, I've, I've tip-tapped my toe away, like, certain, you know, Speak shows. a little bit closer, bro. You know, I've, I've, I've been able to, to hop on different types of shows and stuff. And because of my versatility, but also a lot of people think some artists are big-headed and, and they, they think their talent is going to do everything for them. But it's also how you are, how you're kind, how you're, are you approachable. The way you conduct yourself. Yes, how you conduct yourself goes the furthest, bro. And if you're just cool gente, this fool might have not even ever had heard my music. But if I approach him a certain way, like, yo, I'm hypnotic, dog. Yeah. I do a lot of work. This is what I've done. And, and you speak correctly and with respect. Right. You show humble humbleness and that that can take you places bro that can open doors for you absolutely there, there's certain there's three things hopefully i can remember that i say i live by and i think people should live by them as well number one you don't get a second chance to make a first impression right okay number two you only go as far as your attitude okay and the other one this is the hard one i'm trying to remember now and i have a photographic memory and i tend to forget this one <laughs> But um, you, you, you don't get a second chance to make a first impression. You only go as far as your attitude. And I'm trying to remember the third one. If you guys remember the third one, let me know because somebody, I say that a lot here. in the comments, dog. Come on now. With yeah. Chat. But, but, but that's, that's it, bro. It's like, you know, there's people that I, be, I wanted to meet. And when I met them, I, I regretted it, bro. I'm like, wow, I really looked up to this guy and the way he conducted himself. Right. You know, you know his attitude. Right. You know, like I said, well, well uh, um, you only go as far as your attitude. Let's look at it in the sports. There are athletes that are just loudmouth and they don't shut the fuck up. Right. And after a while, guess what? They might have scored 12 touchdowns that year, but they cut them because right. they're a cancer. Right, to the team. Exactly, bro. Yeah. And sometimes in your team that you have, you may have to cut somebody. That's true. You know, somebody said it here the other day. Uh, I believe it was Baby Bounce. He said, not everybody can come. Hmm. Not everybody can come. You can win without a team, so you do need a team. But the right. way you conduct yourself really, really means a lot, and it'll take you far. Now, today there are many ways you can win a fan, and I always share this with my guests if you're an artist. Today, your music, if, you, if they don't like your music, cool, whatever. Maybe you can win them over with a video, okay? Maybe they, you can win them over with an interview, Right. Or maybe you can win them over with a performance. Right. There are many different ways, but I'll tell you what the big one is, the interviews. Right. There are people that say, you know what? I couldn't stand that motherfucker. But when I saw yeah. and heard his struggle. Right, right. No, and they get to see their personality. They get to see what they're about. It's a little deeper. Like you said, how he conducts himself, how they yeah. present themselves in the interview. You can see, like, damn, homeboy's actually pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? So yes, like, yes. I've, I've experienced that, too, as well, like, uh, with people. I, I've had that here on my notes, so I'm going to look for it, bro. But uh, um, Actually, but, too, también, it's funny that you say that because you're right, dog. I, I have people that still hit me up, like, oh, i seen you on Tony A, man, ever since I saw you on Tony A. Yes. I've been following you. Well, you, you know what, man? And, and, I, and, again, this is the platform that started me, started not knowing what I was doing. Right. You know? But when I saw that... Us Rasa didn't have a platform, you know. I just started calling on my old buddies, right. you know. Rest in peace, Night Out. I want you to come and tell your story, right? You know, all the, all the rappers from San Diego, all the old school ones. Yeah, they've all been here. I remember we used to watch all that stuff. You know, we and do. and 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 that's all it was, bro. Shadow was up in here, little yeah, uh, several times, yeah, bro. Misfit. Uh, I gave ninety percent of a lot of these rappers their first live podcast interview. Right. I'm not saying their first interview ever. Right. But their first live podcast interview. Well, yeah, because this is the new era, the podcast. Yes. Live, this is, and like you said, it, it's turning it. Now everybody else is doing it, dog. Yeah, but yeah. You got to get props for being the originator, dog, especially for the Rasa platform, you know what I'm Well, you know what? And you're it's, holding strong, so that's, that's kudos to you, dog. Thank you, man. You know, there's a lot of people that, and, and I don't listen to that, but I just trip out. What has this motherfucker done for the gente? You're coming at me on a fake page with no followers, no subscribers, and, and you want me to argue with you. That's what yeah. they want, bro. If you, if you respond, then you, you make yeah. your day, dog. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm not going to respond, but I like to have fun. Sometimes Maybe I do have time. There are times, because I'm the right. same way, bro. There's, every now and then there's a hater that talks shit. It's like, I don't even care, bro. Like, I'm, I'm not even going to respond to that, bro. I can't. It's, it's a waste of time, bro. It really it, is. It is a waste of time. But and sometimes, you, sometimes it gets you aggravated, it gets you heated, and you're over there writing paragraphs. Doc, nah, homie, like that's I got some business to co- go conduct. Yeah, and stuff, yeah. You know, so. 
But sometimes when I do have time, <laughs> I do get some stuff gotta, off my yeah, chest. You let them know, right? <laughs> I mean, I've told people several times, hey, bro, this is my address right here. I'm at the gym every day at 12 o'clock. Come meet me here. Right. Or, or, or it, it also depends on who leaves the comment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Because I've, I've had comments where, you know I mean, uh, another artist or so has said something. I was like, okay, damn, your comment means a little something to me. You know what I mean? You mm-hmm. got a little platform. So let me, so I've, I've gone back and forth on my page with another artist. We've, we've, we've even uh, went in the DMs and like, you know, just having our differences and stuff. But at the end of the day, it was, we were able to speak and address it. Yeah. Not in a public Right. You know what I mean? Where I'm calling you out, I'm making a video. Like, it's cool. Like, it is what it is. I know where you yeah. stand. You know where I stand. That's how it should be dealt with. You it know should. what I'm saying? But a lot of people like to purposely call fools out. And, and it, 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 drama sells, bro. It you does. You know what I'm saying? And, Positivity and, doesn't sell. No, nah, not at all, dog. So <laughs> I, that's why... I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that famous, dog, because I'm rapping about real shit, my rasa and positive stuff. Maybe if I was tatted up, if and I told had everybody guns fuck and I was you. selling drugs, dog, I, I might, I might have been blown up right if now. If you I'm look at the wise. camera and go, gang, gang, <laughs> yeah, gang, gang, yeah. Or if I slur my words, dog, and exactly. can't even speak a motherfucking sentence, dog. Or like, you're, if you're living on your last brain cell, <laughs> then you go on Adam Twenty Two. God damn, you go homie, viral, man. It's weird, bro. It's really weird. And you know what? Uh, just because we're talking about that, I remember um, Wack 100 was saying he, he he posted on Adam. He was talking about some Southsider that was talking about Mexicans can't rap. You know, Wax over here like, yeah, yeah, that's that's true. Like, he's like yeah. egging it on, bro. It's like in the, the, the Sureño on there, whatever, dog. That's his opinion. That's right, one right, Southsider's right. opinion. Calm down, Wack. But like, he's over here like. Trying to make the statement, like like Homeboy said, Norby said, Rasa has talent, bro. Like, yes. And, like, don't act like we don't, bro. And because he's over here, like, I ain't saying it. Right. This fool's saying it. It's like, homie, like, it's not whack rappers. There's a lot of whack black rappers, too, right now, dog. So don't <laughs> act like it's just coming from motherfucking Rasa. I remember man. Julio G said that. Come he, on now, he goes, dog. There's also whack black rap. Yeah, oh. There is, dog. Like, so. You know what I'm saying? So, like, and it's like Spider Loke, too. He says something about English language. I mean, like, a lot of these black rappers, también, they ain't speaking the proper English language, too. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, don't act. I just don't like when they when they paint Rasa a certain way in hip-hop. I get it, bro. I love my black rappers, dog. I, I'm influenced and I'm inspired by. They're my favorite rappers. They're really good at it. Yeah, we know that. But there's garbage rappers in all races, homie. It ain't just Rasa. There right. are some garbage ass Rasa rappers. I ain't gonna yeah, lie, Yeah, of course. Dog. Of course. But don't act like like every black rapper's dope because that's, that's, that's not the truth either. There's a lot of whack rappers in general, bro. But don't single out us. Very true, bro. That's all I'm Very saying. Very true. Yeah, I, I just think, I don't know this guy, Spider Loke. But, uh, but the I, whole English language shit was yeah, kind of like, what the fuck, dog? I, I think, and I'm not making no excuses for him, you know, even though people are going to say you made excuses for him, I'm not. I would like to think that he possibly didn't know how to answer that question, and he just went for it and right. fucking let right. the chips fall where they made. It sounded kind of like fancy. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I was asking my brother, too. I was like, I'm, I never heard this fool's music. Is he like Nas? Is he Eminem lyrical? Right. Right. And he was like, nah, fool, like, Criminal got more bars than him. It's like, why is this fool talking like that then, bro? Like, right. like I don't know, bro. Just match like it's just this it's, it's came off disrespectful to me, dog. Like, yeah. like be, I grew up in the States, bro. I, I was born here. I could speak English, dog. You right, know what right, saying? right, right. And a, and a lot of no, like I said, I'm not singling them out, but there's a black rappers that don't speak proper English either. They can't say a proper sentence, bro, and they're famous and they're popping and they have millions of records sold. Yeah. Like, so yeah. it ain't about that, bro. That was just so weird. Yeah, I don't I don't know why he would say that, but oh, it's whatever. And my boy, I won't mention my boy that knows him because I don't want people to start hating on him, but he, he knows him very well, and he told him, he like, bro, you know you fucked up on that answer. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, bro. He goes, I just said what came to my mind. He goes, yeah, I know. I shouldn't have said it that way. Yeah, I mean, you we're know? in the era, too. Let's keep it real, bro. You're being podcasted we're, we're live right. whatever we say is not gonna go away people are gonna hop on that of course and you, you could like you said it could have been in the moment you know i'll give him the benefit of the doubt for that if he's if you know maybe he should publicly say it though that would be nice too dog no that's very true very true you know and then my thing is this that'd be nice like i need it i, I don't need it but right but this is my uh 
my time to speak what's been on my mind. You know what I'm saying? I think the question was, would you ever pay a criminal for a verse or something like that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said no, and then he went then on. He went, yeah, like, why did he go into the right. English? Yeah, that was just weird. I mean, you But know, I get you know, And that's not a surprise, bro. That's always been the case, low-key. Right. You know, we're the ones paying for the black rappers' verses because they, they run the game. You know what I'm saying? Of course. To an extent. We got to get our... our not our bars up, but we got to get our notoriety up. You know what I'm saying? We right. bring value. We start getting our own fans. Now they're going to want to fuck with us, dog. It, it takes time, bro. And I think right now we're trending, bro. Like, right. Raza's trending. And, and no, I definitely think the tide is turning. Okay? Yes. And we're starting to make that push, right. bro. I, I mean, what was so hard if I was a rapper and somebody said, would you pay Hypnotic for a verse? Right. What's so wrong to say, you know what, man? I, I don't think his style matches my style. Right. I just, you know, I don't think I would. No disrespect to him. Much love to him, if anything. Right, but. right. He just, well, well, I don't know, man. He doesn't really speak English correctly. <laughs> you know as long as he doesn't say taco, cucaracha, <laughs> you know, I, 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 that's not me. Hey, just so you know, though, Rasa, man, we speak two languages, dog. A lot of us do. That's yeah. that's even, you know, that takes more. You Three know, sometimes you know, sli- uh, slanguage or, or uh, Spanglish. You know, or, you know what? I, 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 went, I went over there to parquear el carro. Par- yeah, yeah, Spanglish, dog. That's, that's, so, that's the third language. It is, bro. Right? So. A fusion. It's a fusion, dog. Yeah, bro. So, anyways, um, <laughs> other than that, what was the last interview you caught here that you've seen here on Brody Radio? Bro? It's crazy. I was just telling Norby's, um, I've been seeing a lot of them, bro. I see a lot of the shit with y'all doing Marvelous. Me and my brothers, we like we like your shit. You and Marvelous, man, y'all, y'all have some crazy <laughs> conversations, dog. <laughs> You know, it's funny. I don't know. I don't know if you just keep a straight face sometimes, but sometimes you just be saying the shit, right? And it's all interesting. It really is interesting to me, dog. And, you know, and I like how he comes about it because he's always like, you know, don't take my word for it. This is the research I did. Hit me up, carnal. Hit me up on my DM. You know, yeah. I, I already, like, I'll, I'll let you know where I found it. But he'll be saying some shit and you just be like this. You'd be like, right. And then you just kind of like, I don't even know if you heard what he said, or are you just like spaced out? Like, what the fuck is this fool saying? No, okay. Sometimes look. I don't know, but you're like, no, okay. Look, let me say this, and I'm glad right, you brought no, this up. Just, me and Marvelous, we have great conversation. We have a great relationship, really bro. Good. Like that—that that is my friend, bro. That is my friend. Right. And a lot of people hate that we're actually close friends, bro. That's cool. I could tell you guys are you know, cool, man. The, and yeah. it shows, and but that's what makes it entertaining, bro. You yeah. guys, or you can tell. It's, but but it's from cool. the from the first time that I met him, bro, like every. Everything just clicked. We and right. there was other guys, believe it or not, that just as soon as I became friends, they started sending me shit about him, and I'm like, okay, bro, cool, <sighs> right, thank you. I'll keep right. this in my back pocket, right, right. and then I'll just send it to him, and I'll just tell him, so and so sent it to me, you know, yeah. So there's other podcasters sent it to me. And there's other podcasters. Yeah, but there was one. He was talking about uh, what was it the Transformers movies? That shit was funny, dog. That's about us. It's about our cultura. The, we have the gamma rays and all that stuff. I mean, I don't know what he's saying, dog, but I looked right. that shit up. And right. it's like, you know, okay, I can see where he's coming from. And he knows his shit. And I know he's done his research. But I, I just remember you were just like, right. And then, <laughs> you know, just, this shit was comedy, dog. Okay, well. well but that's well, happened a few times. I'm, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I've seen a lot of you guys' stuff. You, sure. you know, but one thing, we, I don't see... I don't always see 100% eye to eye with right. him. You're, and you're not going and to I will tell you why. Right. Because I didn't do my research. Right, right. When people say, Tony, how are you going to have Marvelous on your show? He believes the flat earth and you don't. We don't necessarily have to believe <laughs> exactly, dog. exactly the same. We're not all supposed to be the same and think alike. No, dog. we're not. We're not. Um, like for an example, um, uh, fuck, what was that topic that he brought up? About reptilians. About mm-hmm. reptilians and how they live underground or whatever. Okay, I've never seen one, bro. So, oh, yeah, the Queen Elizabeth, she's a reptilian. Yeah, or, yeah exactly. I remember that one. Somebody told me Obama's a reptilian. Right, right, right. So, I mean, and he also said that Michelle Obama is Michael, is a man. Right. So I've heard that before. i never seen his bulge, so I don't know, you know. <laughs> if anybody got a picture of the bulge, send it in. So, <laughs> but, okay, so, and I say this in a... Funny, comical way about Marvelous because I love the dude. Marvelous is walking clickbait. Yeah. <laughs> He's walking clickbait. He opens up your mind and you're like, this dude's a little cuckoo. Yeah, yeah. And then when you go do your research. You're like, yeah, there's some, there's something behind it. There's like, something do, do behind it. More. And that's why, like, I can tell how he talks and how he, how he answers his questions and how he addresses certain things. 
that the research has been done because he speaks to it perfectly. So it's like, okay, there has to right. be some kind of truth to it at least. Right. But it doesn't necessarily mean it is the truth, but that's right. up to us if we have the time to do our own research, which a lot of us are just too busy, dog. Yes. Living life, working. And we always tell people this, bro. We always tell people, do your own research. Stop calling this guy crazy. He's the only guy that I know that has his phone number in his bio. Yeah, right. Bro, one time he opened, he goes, oh, I got a lot of missed messages. And I go, how many? And he looked at his phone and go, oh, about 180. And I was like, right, 180? And he turns his phone and I go, just from tonight? That's crazy. Yeah, bro. And I'm like, holy shit. Does he shit. try to answer all of them? He tries. Right, but I mean, it's probably hard. Like, like he'll, he'll, I'll call him and he'll like, I just got off the phone with somebody from Australia. Right, right. What the fuck? Well, he, he's big, bro. He has a lot of, um, I think the stuff that he speaks about is just unique too. Yeah. We don't think that far ahead sometimes he could be ahead of his time in a sense of like some of the topics is just is when we hear it we're just like what the fuck you on dog you know what i'm saying <laughs> and, and he knows that he He's knows on that. a good one you know what yeah. I'm saying? but you know what i mean but like i said the way he carries himself and how he speaks about it it's like don't take homeboy like lightly you know what i'm saying he might have some truth right there which yeah know. yeah but but uh, um he's coming back and we're gonna have a whole new setup for him and uh, I just love to conversate with him, bro. We just pick any topic. Uh, uh, I released uh, the the flyer on the community on my YouTube page. Yeah, right. And I always put submit all questions and then people. The number one question, the flat earth. Right, of course. Let me ask you, do you believe the earth is flat? Uh, I personally do not believe the earth is flat. Okay. But I haven't done no research of my own to even answer that question. Right, right, right. Oh. Accordingly or properly, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and some people like to argue, and then I say, ultimately, if it is, does it matter? That's what I always say. Like, okay, if it is flat, then, yeah, they lie to us. They always lie to us. They've been lying yeah. to us. Like, Most likely, your chest is flat. Go hit some incline, <laughs> decline, and flat bench. So, That's right, dog. girls like like a man with chest get, and arms. Get the swole's in, dog, you know what, know what I'm I mean? So... <laughs> As I have been, I have been getting my swole on, dog. Just so you know. Oh, I see it. Yeah, yeah. I, I see it. Uh, oh, weight. you know what? I saw you hit two two plates. I believe on a flat nah, bench. Nah, nah that uh, three forty five, dog. Oh, three on each side? No, three hundred forty five total. Two plates is two twenty five, dog. Don't cut me short. Oh, like okay, that, well, but Come I saw now, you dog. did post up a video. No, oh, yeah, no, it, it was. Uh, if I, do, I'm not gonna post two twenty five. That's my like. No, I warm up with that, dog. Two okay, plates. honestly, yeah. okay, I'm about to be fifty six, bro. <laughs> That's my max, two plates. No, but yeah, yeah, but that's, so. everybody's a different type. Of, you're very good shape, you know what I'm saying? And, and uh, I'm, like, more stocky. But everybody's different, bro, and yeah. I, I have small arms. It's, they say it's harder for people with longer arms, too. Oh, dude, it you is. Know? That's why my trainer, he's like, when you go up, don't lock out. Right, yeah. You know, don't lock out. Just just go, like, yeah, don't. You shouldn't boom, do that. Boom, But I, yeah, no, homie, 345, dog, just so you know. On each know. side? Wait, wait. No, 345 total. 345 pounds. Okay, how many plates is that on each side, that's bro? That's three plates. Uh, and a quarter? That's 315, and then, and then a 10 on each side. Okay. Like 35, and then a five. Yeah. Okay. So three plates, 10, and five, dog. That's a lot. That's pretty free to me, dog. You know what I'm saying? You, you know who's strong like that? High C, bro. That oh, motherfucker, yeah, three plates on each side. Bam, bam. And he just puts it in, presses stop, and he sends me the fucking video. Damn. I'm like, motherfucker, he did that shit with ease. Hit 10. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like he could. Cause you yeah. can see how easy it was. Yeah. It is, bro. Yeah, I'm trying to join Strength Cartel, dog. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah. Yeah, there's <laughs> fucking big dudes Those over there. Those motherfuckers are swole, dog. See, see, I don't know if I ever want to be that big, bro. Well, I, I can't unless... Big boy lost some weight. He oh, was, did he? He used to be like 400, almost five. Fucking, he's, he's slimmed down, bro. And the thing with him, he's agile, bro. He, he's athletic. Man. Yeah, he is. It's crazy. Yeah, he is. someone that big is normally not that Okay. Big. Met a guy, bodybuilder, no lie. Big, humongous motherfucker. Right. And he straight tells me he juices. Okay? Of course. He tells me, okay? Right. Because this guy looks like a fucking mutant. Right. Okay? Right. His girl walks in. I meet him and blah, blah, blah. They start drinking. And then she just says it in front of him because she just got so tore up. She told him, you know what? This guy's huge and everything. I know he's bragging about his arms, but the only muscle that I want to work doesn't work, and it's like this. Shut the fuck up. I was like, I oh, wait. Put him on blast like that? Like that. Damn. He just turned really red and goes, can we just leave now? I'm like, damn, was now I know. Live? No, 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 oh, no, no. thank God. No, we were somewhere at a, at a oh, bar or something, bro. Oh, got you, got you. That's fucked up, though. Yeah, I'm like, damn. fuck, true serum. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Well, just so you know, it's all natural, dog. No steroids here, dog. You know no, no, you can't. You can't. You know what? But if, I can't hate on fools that do that if that's what they're... Um, if they're competing and that's you know what, what they saying? do. Or if that's what they're... Like, you're a bodybuilder or influencer or whatever. That's where, that's where you make your money. Right. Like, motherfuckers want to see you swole and shit, so... Now, another thing is that I think this is true because I've experienced this with several bodybuilders that I knew. Right. That roid rage... They do. That's, that's real. That's real, bro. Right. That's right. real. Uh, I knew a guy that used to inject pits, pit bulls, back in the 80s, bro, with steroids. No that's shit. That's when the motherfuckers were big, and that's right. when he used to fight them. But he said the reason why a lot of these dogs turn on their animals, I mean, th- a lot of these animals, these dogs turn on their owners, is because they shoot them up, and they go fucking crazy, bro. Of course. That's fucking you know? nuts. And I've known pit bulls that were never shot up. And they're just like any other dog. Right. We have a pit bull at the crib. Very okay. nice. Did you shoot him up? Very loving. Nah, dog. <laughs> Natural swords, dog. Those mother, some of the motherfuckers, boom, boom, yeah, boom, yeah, boom. Small, my brother, too. My older brother, man, he, he uh, 375 is what he hits, bro. No shit. Sure. Yeah, he's, 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 um, that's why I work out. Come on, See, now, I can say, show. that's feed, awesome. Feed him and lift, homie. Feed, feed him, him and lift. That's right. I can <laughs> say, that's awesome, or I can say, fuck that guy. He was trying to show off. Did you hear him? I know, right? Did yeah, you hear him? Yeah. You can choose. <laughs> You can choose Stop to be being nice. A hater, dog. You know what I mean. Just try not to try to hate less nowadays, yes. dog. Hate know? less, yeah. Because that's a good one. Hate less. Hate less. Because if you have it naturally in you to hate, yeah, and you can, you're not going to just immediately stop hating, right? Bro, somebody just that hates hate that less. much, let's be honest, cannot possibly have any peace in their life, bro. Right. There's people like that. You know, what I mean? even at work, different people. They're always in a bad mood, just negative. It's like. Just let them be, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like I, motherfuckers. Like, how you doing today, man? <laughs> if it wasn't for fucking bad luck, I wouldn't have luck at all. Right, right. And I hate being around motherfuckers like that. Okay, it, it I'll brings, be going this way. Energy, energy down. Oh, it sucks. Yeah. It, it sucks the energy out of you, bro. It sucks the joy out of you. Right. You know? Hey, man, so so, so what you been up to? <laughs> Shit. Fucking broke. Got no right. money. I, all right. Bye. <laughs> That's me. That's good. You, gotta, you, gotta, you don't need to be around that energy, dog. You got to be around people that... Even with music, with anything in life, yeah. dog, be around him that match the energy, dog. You know what I mean? You, if you're trying to do something, go places, be business minded or, or be productive, then don't kick it with the homies and drink and smoke right. all day. You know what I'm saying? Go fucking work out. Go, go write some lyrics. Whatever it is that you do, dog. Like you, you there's know, things you could do. You know but, what? I mean, it's cool to have fun every now and then. Right. Dog. I'm not gonna hate on that. You know what? What days I'm glad I'm over with, bro. And I'm fucking. And, and I know people watching are gonna agree with me. When you're hanging out on the hood, every we having a carne asada, right. everything's fucking dope. You start drinking, and motherfuckers all of a sudden start throwing up gang signs. Fuck this lame right here. Fuck this fool, homie. Yeah, that fucking level right there was staring at my chick three years ago. <laughs> you know it's gonna be drama once we start playing chente, dog, because that's when people yeah. are over emotional already, yes. and because yes. we get in a tip where we're like we're sad and we're reminiscing or like. Hell yeah, it's all love. But then once Chente gets on, and now it's like, now you can expect the, the motherfucking, because yeah. okay. you're already emotional, now yes. the anger's going to come out type of stuff. The, the, I ran into a gang of drunks before, bro. The type of drunks that drink, and then they start crying because all their problems yeah. hit them at once. Right. And then you got the, the drunks that get beer balls. Yes. They want, they, they right. want they're, they're super, you know, fucking. All uh, confident now. Yes. So, yeah. yeah. They got beer muscles. Right. They want to fucking fight. And then you got guys that get generous like me. I get happy. I get joyful. Fuck yeah. I get another round for everybody. Different different kind of. And then I seen guys that got drunk and turned gay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. Motherfucker truth, be like. Truth serum, dog? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're like, what the fuck you doing, dude? <laughs> like, seriously, bro. I seen that shit. And I'm like, okay, I'm out. Have a nice day, bro. True colors, dog. Right? True colors. <laughs> yeah. True colors, bro. So, yeah, I don't like, I, drink I don't miss privately, Drink privately, dog. <laughs> drink or, or drink openly on podcasting. So. <laughs> Speaking of that, you want a beer? Yeah, I'll take a beer, dog. Uh, bring us two beers, please. Porfa. All right, Gargoyle. <laughs> I got to watch my intake a little bit, though. No, you know. uh, come on, come on. You're watching that physique, right? Nah, not even that. <laughs> Last time I was here, I got a little pedo, and you know, you know, I got familia that looks out for me, like, hey, dog, you're kind of slurring your words. You're, you know, my mom, too. Vas a manejar, vas a manejar a la casa, no tomas mucho. You know, my mom's just looking out, dog. So. It's all right. Well, well, all like, props mom, to mom. Está bien, mom. No voy a tomar tanto, okay? Tomas como tres y una chasa de tequila. So. <laughs> y si llega a la casa o no llega, no la pasamos bien. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Salud, dog. Oh, you're here. Here's your, uh, my wrestler. 
That's pretty dope. Bro, I bought this this wrestler, Abrelatas, bro, in New Jersey. Damn. In New Jersey. I had to go to New Jersey to buy this motherfucker right here, bro. Is that recently or? No, like four years ago. What were you doing in Jersey? Just out there? Out there, bro. And and uh, the best pozole I've ever had. So I think you said that. On was in year. Jersey. Yeah. So. Yeah, I remember. I don't know if I was here or I saw that. Well, oh, I, I was sharing that with B-Real, and he was telling me that he had Mexican food in Russia. Uh-huh. Yeah, like he said, it was good, authentic Mexican food. That exhibit had took him took him there. So I was like, no shit. And he was like, yeah, bro, we had Mexican food. You got to keep it real, dog. Like the best food the in the world, bro. Mexican culture is just, it's really, like, loved. It really is loved, bro. Like, like some of the, like, just how, how we are as gente and the comida. Yeah. Comida hits people a certain way. Okay. This was, like, my new one. I can't drink the regular one anymore. Oh, no. Negra's the best, fool. It's the best. It's Dang. the best. Okay? okay. Yeah, I didn't even know. This is my brother's favorite. He introduced me to the Negra Modelo. This one goes down smooth. It's so good, dog. It's the best with a michelada también. Yes, exactly. Definitely. The other one, the regular one, makes me fucking burp all the time. This is the best beer out there. Yes. Low key. So. A ver, salud. Salud. Jesse, drink a Modelo with me, dog. Carnal. You won't? No, I'm talking about my, my brother. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to tell your boy. Or whoever is tuning in, man. Any any of my fans out there, like familia, mm-hmm. salute, man. Thank you for salute. tuning in. I think I swallowed a piece of aluminum. So. <laughs> <laughs> the styrofoam, huh? Bro, I remember one time this guy bought me a, a, a craft beer. <laughs> Try it. It belongs to my homie. I was already faded, bro. Yeah. And I opened it, and I tasted it. He goes, it tastes good, huh? It tastes good. And I was like, and I told the truth. I go, taste like... Cigar paper. <laughs> Cigar paper? What the fuck? That's very specific. <laughs> like, imagine getting a cigar and you take a little of the... Yeah. yeah. That's what the Look, beer tastes That's what it tasted like. like. I go, but I'll drink it. So it wasn't good. But as long as it gets the job done, right? I yeah. Mean, at that point, you're already kind of faded, you said, right? It's exactly. So somebody put Modelo time, boo. Yes. Especially after getting raided. You got to have a beer. Bro, so. how did you survive, dog? You, you feed him at home? Well, let me tell you the story what happened. I took my grandkids to 7-Eleven, and they wanted balloons because they wanted to have a water balloon fight. Right. Okay? But I forgot my wallet, so I put the balloons in my pocket, and I just walked out with them. Oh, shit. And the sheriffs were outside. So I walked home, and I saw them following me. So I ran in my house, and they just chased me, broke open my door. They handcuffed me. They went in my pocket and took the balloons back. Serio? No. <laughs> oh, he had like a straight face. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, bro. So. Oh, man, that's crazy, dog. Uh, hypnotic. I'm glad you're here, dog. I'm glad that I'm interviewing. Me, me too. Getting interviewed by you, dog. No yeah. disrespect to Norby. Yeah, because I was falling asleep with Norby. I was like, I wait. This isn't run the fade, dog. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. <laughs> no, Norby's is cool, dog. I fuck with Norby's, dog. Okay, 2024, bro. What can we expect from Hypnotic? What's going on? I know you got a lot more shows. Right. Actually, I got, yeah, I got a shit ton of shows, man. Let me, uh, just to name a few, I know uh, Valentine's Day, February 14th. Hell yeah. I'm going to be uh, doing a show in Garden Grove, the Garden Amphitheater. That's one of my favorite venues. I don't know if you guys have been to the Garden Is that the one with Magic and them are going to be at? Yes, so Magic, Baby Bash, Little Rob. I have a show this day here. If not, because I was at the last last year one. Yeah, yeah, that one was dope too. Yeah. Oh, I saw you there. Yeah, yeah, I, I did my thing, bro. So I'm, I'm doing it this year again. And then February 16th, San Bernardino with the NB Riders. Uh, March 8th, Pomona with the MB Riders. March 9th, Temecula with the MB Riders. And then I got booked for Nebraska, bro. Hell yeah. Yeah, with Brown Boy, a couple of uh, another artists. I, I tapped in with a promoter out there, Big Lupe. And uh, I showed him some of my music. He liked it, bro. And, and I'm getting booked, bro. Flight, you know. That's and, beautiful. And then oh, no, no, hold on. Feria también. Fuck this guy. You want to hate on me, dog? You can hate on my success, dog? Fuck. <laughs> Let me just stop talking about my shows, dog. <laughs> Hey, dog, you know. No, okay, you know uh, <laughs> uh, how long is your set? About 15, 20 minutes? Or? It, it varies, bro. Um, I, I Over 15. Okay. 15, yeah, between 15 to 20 for the most part. Okay. But, they, uh, you know, they always tell me, to, hey, keep it at 15. But, like, not to brag, but I'm, I'm a really good performer, dog. And, like, I've, I've, I've performed so much that I've learned yeah. how to, like, interact with the crowd in, in, in a way where it's like well you're lot, growing bro a lot of the highlight part of the of the show is is not even when i'm rapping which is 
it's more like the segues where I'm just like spur of the moment type stuff. Yeah. I'm, I see some hyena going crazy and I'll just go up to her and talk to her in front of the crowd yeah. and make people laugh. You know what I mean? Right. That shit goes a long way, bro. And it is pretty dope. And one of my last shows, actually uh shout out. Um, the last show I did was in East LA. Uh, that we're doing a fundraiser for the justice eight. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. We're going to get into that. We're going to yes, get into that. Yeah, but real quick, just on the performance thing, I was killing it, bro. I was doing my thing. So much to where the, the the homeboy, one of the street vendors, he gave me some elote for free in the middle of my I segment. saw that. Yeah. And you stopped to eat it. <laughs> yeah. I, I pay was, attention. I was, I was about to do by uh, by next song. I was like, oh, I was like, on the house, homie? My gracias, compa. Damn. I was like, you know what, y'all? There goes my last song, homie. I got to eat this motherfucking corn. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Exactly. So I mean, the people started laughing, dog. You know what I mean? It was just cool. But shit like that where it's unplanned, when you're um, the more experienced that I do, Performing and stuff, yeah. you just got to react to those moments. You know what I'm saying? If you ever get a chance, I don't know if you've seen it. Um, there's a video that I have pinned to uh, my Instagram page. Yeah. Oh, by the way, today completes one year anniversary of having my Instagram page. Oh, shit. Because remember, this is my seventh one. Right. That's what I'm okay. saying. I didn't know who to tag. I was trying yeah. to tag you. I no, like, this one right oh, here. Oh, no, I really, I was like, is this the one? I had to, like, go back and, like. Okay, that's the one. Yeah, no, no, no. This is, <laughs> this is one year. The reason why I say one year anniversary because I've never had a page longer than a year. That's what I'm saying. I, so this is the longest lasting one so yes. far, as far without getting banned. Exactly. Or, yeah, yeah. So thank everybody for that. But I have a video pinned to uh, my page, and this was last year Valentine's Day. Right. MC Magic brings me up on stage. Oh, okay. Cool. Now. I, I can sit right here and talk to people on podcasting all day, bro. Right. But it's different. On stage. On stage. Yeah, yeah. I got con mouth like a motherfucker. <laughs> I couldn't. I, I don't even rap. You're like, what? <laughs> and he calls me up on stage. His big D goes, hey, Magic wants you up on stage. And, and I was right. like, why? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dog. You got thousands of fools watching you every day, and, dog. And, but and it's he different, goes, huh? Yeah, he goes, he wants to bring you on. So I, w I recorded it, bro. I had my phone and I grabbed it and I just wanted to thank everybody, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And I thank Magic. And I'm going to tell you why that was a special moment for me. Because as much as I've been touring all throughout the 90s, bro, I've yeah. toured with Quick, Second to None, AMG, High C, pretty much all throughout the 90s. Right. And never once did they ever do that for me. Damn. That's what's up. And this man like, did. Like, hey, give homeboy his, like, we're going to show yes. love to Tony. Absolutely. This, some, like, this is someone important. You know what I mean? Absolutely. He's showing bro. you respect. We're right? giving you your flowers. Dog. Then on Sunday in the park, MC Magic Show, Baby Bash, Little Rob, right. J Rocks, they're all performing here in downtown at a beautiful place, but we were podcasting live. Nice. And Big D, you know, after me, High C performed. Mm -hmm. You know, this is our first performance in LA in years. Oh. So uh, he calls me and he goes, because Concrete w was uh, hosting it. Right. So he calls me, he goes, Big D he goes, hey, I want you to promote your channel and I want you to promote what you're doing and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, 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 no. And he goes, no, bullshit, you're going up there. And he fucking ran up on stage and took the mic away from Concrete. Oh, Tony, come here. And I was like, all right. So I went out there. I said what I said. Yeah. Thank you, blah, blah, blah. And let me tell you something. Up to that point, I think I only had like about 58,000 subscribers. Yeah. Bro, that day we passed out stickers with our, our QR. QR code, yeah. Smart, bro, yeah. we're over 100,000, bro. That's crazy, dog. Yeah, but that just goes to show the power of the mic and being in front of people. Right. So my whole point in sharing that, don't ever take being in front of people for granted, bro. Yes. No, and that's what I'm saying, dog. So you're smart. It's funny that you mentioned that because every show, you know, I do invest in... Yes. In a... There's certain things I invest in that are not going to give me direct money, right? But it's going to give me pro promo. Like, mm -hmm. I have stickers, QR code, like you said. Yeah. So every show I do, I'm selective on who I give them out to. Yes. Though. Like, hey, hey you like the performance? Yeah, yes. you were dope. Hey, check it out, homie. Here's a sticker right there. Yeah. That'll give me my Instagram, da 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 You know yeah. what I'm saying? But that's that does lead to, yes. to money later. They're going to yes. stream your shit. They're going to buy your merch. Right. So, But you got to invest in those stickers. And that's what I like to maximize. Dog. When you're in front of a crowd like that, if, if right now, Magic, Baby Bash, that's going to sell out, bro, with Little yes. Rob. So that's 700, 800 people there. I need to make sure I'm giving yes. at least a good portion of them my sticker. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And give them something. Because they're going to see me perform, right? I can't talk to every single one, but I'll, I'll pass out stickers. If they yes. like it, they can follow it, bro. Yeah. Maximize on those and, and one thing I do want to say to uh, rappers, artists that are out there watching, and maybe you do want to grow your, your audience. My thing is this. 
I'm an older man, bros. And a lot of these girls that were there, some of them were teenagers, some of them were in their 20s, some of them in their 30s. Right. And when I was giving them a sticker, a lot of them asked me, what's this? Right. And I would tell them, okay, th this is the QR code to a podcast that I'm podcasting. All these rappers right here, I'm interviewing them. So if you right. care to see them, right. you know, uh, watch the podcast. Yeah. Okay. And because I took the time, bro, a lot of them subscribed and followed me on Instagram. Bro. Yeah, that's dope. That, yeah. yeah. So and that's th what they do. I've, I've, I've been doing the sticker thing for, for like a year and a half now. and That's a good thing. And it's it, it helps, bro. Because yeah. I'm doing these shows, right? Every rapper does this. Yo, thank y'all, man. Get my IG. It's uh, it's JJ <laughs> Julio gone wild underscore dot. You know what I mean? Like no one's gonna remember that dog. Low key, like that's true. Have a banner. There's different things you could do. Right. So you gotta peep the game. I've seen different artists when they go on stage, they'll put their banner up, their yeah. Instagram there. That's smart too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Hey, if you, and they can say, hey, if you like what you're hearing, man, follow my shit right here. Check it out. Yeah. Watch your phone out or give the stickers out. You. People just, sometimes artists, they don't think all the way through. They're not business-minded. We're like, how can right. I maximize? How can I make these people follow me? You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. they they might think you're dope, but, oh, what was his name again? Or they're not going to forget about yeah. it the next day. Yeah. You got to make sure you capture them at that moment, dog. Bro, when te crees mucho, you're just going to piss a lot of people off, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it pays to be humble, bro. It does. It does, especially to your fans. The last thing you ever want is your fans to say, that guy was a fucking bro, asshole. Bro, you got to treat your fans. They, that's what makes you I'm going to throw bro. his poster away. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, but you show, show the fans love, bro. They they fuck with you. They're putting money in your pocket. Yeah, bro. bro, let me tell you one last story about Magic. Magic, I never seen any other artist do this. As a matter of fact, other guys that I toured with, and I mentioned some of them, never wanted to take pictures or autographs. Magic met every single person that went to that show and he stood there at the door greeting them. Wow. And then at the very end, you wanted a picture? Come get a picture. He does that. I've, I've done shows with him and they line up. He stays to the very dude, end. Dude, I was like, dude. He takes care of his fans, bro. He, he's a smart dude. Very and, smart And dude. genuine. It comes off, because he's always on live too. He does live. He'll he'll rap to his, his followers. Like he's yeah. on talk box. Hey, hey, Maria, I see you there. Let's do, and you'll do something about Maria. He'll customize all that shit for all these different ones. See, I wish I could do that. Because when I go live, motherfucker, I fuck you. Sorry, motherfucker. <laughs> Tony Transas, Tony this, Tony that. I'm like. <laughs> Here, this is practice. Let's respond to some of these fools right now, dog. Let's, let's hey, fuck you. No, no, no. <laughs> call him out by name, dog. Come on now. But you know what? I've always, I've always been like, hey, bro, if you got the balls, make the call. So go ahead and call in, you know. And yeah. I. But yeah. you get some guys that just want to start yelling, hey, Tony, and I hope you don't take this, you don't get defensive. But with some of these guys, you can never win. Bro, there's so many classic moments. By the time me and my brother have seen your show quite a bit, there's some callers that, that struggle talking, dog. Yeah, bro. <laughs> there's times where I say, like, bro, that was a fucking like, lie. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, I'll say, nah, bro, that's not true. Why are you getting defensive? I'm, I'm saying that that's not true. How was that defensive? No, we know you did it. Okay, look, bro. You already called in with a made-up mind, you know? <laughs> right. You're yeah. pretty much telling me, don't confuse me with the facts. My mind is made up. Right, right. You did it, Tony. <laughs> there was one fool. I don't want to put him on black. I forgot who he was. He was from Texas, though. But he just couldn't, like, he couldn't speak. Like, he was... <laughs> Jay from you South gonna, Texas. You were like this. You were like... <sighs> <laughs> Shit, and you're friend. trying to be nice. Yeah, because you let him. You let him finish. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to hang up on you. Keep yeah, going, Yeah, bro. you always say shit like that. Like, you know. hey, homie, if you could just pick up the pace a little bit. Like, oh, man. Yeah. You're, very, you're pretty patient. <laughs> go I, I, I need patience. So, you guys, please pray for me. Even if you don't like me, just pray for me. Oh, Seriously. Oh, man, this is some classic so, shit, Star. But um, anyways, bro, you know what? I'm going to take a shot, bro. Let me, let, me, let me call my mom and ask if I can get one. Dog. Go ahead and text her real quick, bro. <laughs> She don't text, dog. She's old school, dog. She, oh, she doesn't text, homie. Does she still got beeper? <laughs> Como? Uh, beeper. No, no, no beeper. <laughs> El beeper. She's straight Mexicana, dog. Just like old school, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So Mom, está bien. Must just one. Okay. <laughs> Favorite Mexican dish of all time for you? I gotta say pozole, dog. Okay. Pozole. But like, I, I love um. Chicharron con the chicharron con carne. Yeah, yeah. My yeah, mom yeah. makes it with a bomb ass salsa in the morning yeah. with the uh, with beans and right. rice, fucking tortillas. That's oh, it's beautiful, bro. Especially if you have a wow. burrito like that. Bro. Yes, you know. But yeah, yeah. We used to eat it with the fucking tortilla, bro. Um, and there's a few dog. Um, I love my menudo, dog. I've always debated pozole menudo. 
Because it's almost the same, but it's not. Yeah, but I go back and forth. Lately, I've been yeah. not feeling the menudo lately because I just haven't been eating it too much. What about green pozole? Yeah, it's just fire. It's just My fire mom too. makes you put some avocado in it too. Oh, that, yeah. that's the best way. Yeah, it's really that's good. That's the best way. You had white pozole? I had white, that's what you call it? White, I had white pozole in clear, Texas. Clear pozole? Or what yeah, it? it was clear. Okay, here's right. what I didn't like about it. They brought it to me in Texas. I look at the white meat and look at the white corn, and then I could see right through it, and I put my finger in, and I'm like, I, took, I could touch the bottom of the bowl and see my finger. You're not supposed to do that. Checked you out. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, okay. Put a little salsa in it, and it kind of, the, the only thing with that is bomb, but whatever sauce you put in it, it kind of it takes that flavor, the whole flavor. It, it embodies all, that whole flavor and shit. Uh, tripa I love my tripa tacos Really? Dog. Tripa's my shit bro When I was a kid You tripas, don't like tripa? I'm gonna tell you why Oh no Cause I, I say I'm not guess Bro you're it's, old school It's carne Every old school likes tripa I understand bro. that I used to eat it when I was a kid And I was like I'm not guess It's carne And I was like Okay so I would eat it And fucking pull on that fucking <laughs> And then I find that's guts Okay cool And then I'm not guess It's carne Then I find that it's buche Okay right, So right. I'm like Okay can we just stick to like Carne Estrada. You know <laughs> carne <so>? Estrada. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, hey, carne asada. Just a simple carne asada too, dog. When salud. you're doing a carne asada, a little paso de carne, that's it. Mm. Now, the other one, for me, everybody should know this already. Un plato de chile verde con arroz y frijoles. Okay. Or I can have un, un, un burrito de chile verde, but chile verde is my shit. When I go to a Mexican restaurant, that's how I judge. My, the first judgment I do, salsa and chips. So those right, right. fucking chips are stale. And that shit looks like paste picante from New York. You know, <laughs> les quito puntos. You already know the, yeah. the, the dish is going to be And then when bad. I get uh, chile verde, they bring it. That's just de bote. Right. You know, it's just, I'm like, okay, bro. Never coming again. Yeah, yeah. You know, you wait till you see my Yelp, you know, fucking complaint. So what's your favorite Mexican dish? I just told you. Plato Chile Verde. Oh, that's right. Okay. Pork. Okay, so Even though is pork is unhealthy, I'm going to be honest with you, but it's the fucking best fucking shit out there, bro. Right. So Can't I like wrong. that. My mom makes a caldo con, con uh, pork. Uh -huh. and it has the bones in it también. Caldo oh, yeah, 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 yeah. With yeah. nopales on it. Yes. My brothers aren't big on that, but I always, like, me and my mom, when she makes it, I'm like, oh, that's me and you, mom. Like, yeah. And my mom always says, ellos no saben la, la bueno. No, yeah, they, yeah, they don't exactly. know what's good. They don't. <laughs> She's always clowning. No, it's true, bro. It's true. But like, I can eat Mexican food. I love Italian food. What about sushi? You a sushi guy? Not, not huge on sushi, but I'll eat it. You know what I'm saying? I love sushi, I don't bro. mind sushi. And, and I, I can go twice a week, right. but I do it at least like every Monday. And and I always said, I, I, every Monday I go eat sushi, right. but I had to stop mentioning my spot. Right. Because when I would go, I would post it on my story and motherfuckers would show up. Damn. <laughs> like, <laughs> let, me, let me meet this fool real quick. Oh, bro. There was this one guy. Much love and respect to him. He shows up and he just sticks his head in, and he's like, <laughs> and he's staring at me and my son. I'm like, who the fuck is that? And he's right. like, and I'm like, can I help you? Yeah, Tony. <laughs> no way. Like no, that. I'm serious, bro. Like and, I, and I was like, yo, what, what's good? I don't live too far from here, and you post it in your story. Oh, shit. And I was like, oh, okay, cool, man. Thank you. Can I just shake your hand? <laughs> yeah. And I, I know, just right? said, fuck, I just finished washing my hands. Okay, cool. Shake your hand. <laughs> That's cool, whatever. Funny, dog. So we ordered a bunch of shit, okay? Every time me and my son goes, at least about 120 bucks. We order a lot Damn, of shit. You guys go all out. Yeah. Right. So and then when I asked, because uh, I know all the people there, I said, Suko, can I get uh, the, the check? Are they all named Suko? I don't know, but this one is. It's like every Chinese girl like in every Chinese movie a lot of times. is named Mei Ling. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or Maria in Chung Spanish. Li, Chung Li. Yeah. So, so what happened was I, I asked her for the check. And uh, she goes, no, no, that gentleman paid for it. So he came oh, and paid. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yes. That's dope. So much love to all you guys. Man, that's but, dope, dog. But, but I'm always like, at least say something. Don't just smile at me. <laughs> don't fucking give me Man, that. He's trying to get at you, dog. No, he, you know give me that saying? Jeffrey Dahmer look, you know? It's so, funny because you had said that before too, like you like being recognized and stuff. Sometimes it's like it's differentiate that from like, is this food just staring at me? Yes, Plato or yeah, exactly, you know bro. There were, there were, I was at a when my homegirl shook bandit. Shout out shook bandit. We were eating some Mexican food, some tacos and stuff, uh -huh. and I was sitting down like this, and there was a guy across from me, and he just kind of kept looking at me, dog. Uh huh. And he was just like kind of smiling, but no me dijo nada. He didn't say nothing. So then I was like, I was like, you homie, mucho gusto. He goes, yeah, 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 for sure. He's like, 
hey, you're hypnotic, huh? <laughs> I was like, yeah, 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 hell yeah. He goes, I seen you on Tony A, dog. <laughs> you know oh, no shit? Yeah, I swear to God, this was recent. But it's just kind of like, like you know, I don't know. It's like, if I didn't say nothing, he probably wouldn't have said nothing. Right, right. But it's just kind of, maybe it's weird to them sometimes how to approach someone who they perceive as, like, known or famous or whatever. Right, right, right. But no. that would, like I told you, like, I've been I've been getting um, followers that, to this day, still, like, hey, I seen you on Tony A, man. Like, that, so, like you said, it's not just the music. Yeah. But, like, personality how you talk like you get fans just you know bro fans, I, I appreciate everybody that walks up to me bro and i never shun anybody from a picture i get people that always ask me questions like you know when are you going to perform again or when are you going to have this guest back on or right oh i learned so much from you bro i'll be honest too i've never made a hater in person bro right i met a hater that came to apologize to me really yeah you know, he came face to face and told me uh, I heard so much dirt about you, bro, and I never met you. And you, uh, you said it on your podcast. He said I was watching, hating on your ass. Damn. So he was watching, mad at me. Right, right. And he goes, but when you said I got guys hating on me that never even met me, never even don't even know me, never even talked to me. Right, registered to him. It did. So, yeah. so he hit me up and he goes, "Hey, man, where you at?" And I was like, "I'm here every day, bro." T- Twelve o'clock, and he showed up. Damn. And he came up to me, shook my hand, and just said, "Hey, bro, you know what? I was hated on you because the shit that I heard." Blah, blah, blah. He goes, but I just can't go on what people say about you on YouTube or on Instagram. And I don't even know those people that said that about you. Right, exactly. He goes, and those people come to find out they don't even know you. Well, that's the thing. Like, we're, like we live in that era, bro, where even if someone makes a statement or a false Very accusation true. about you, yeah. that kind of sticks with you. Because some half of the people are just going to run with it. Because there's people out there that they see a video or they see someone saying right. something about, oh, that's fucked up. I didn't know Tony A was like that. Right. And they're just automatically going to believe that without even doing their own research. You know, it, that sucks, bro, it, because it, it someone, can, someone can just sabotage you like Especially that. Especially if a female says it. Yeah. Most guys that never get any coochie will believe the female in hopes that they made them my meter and get a mamada. I'm being honest with you, bro. No, I, 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 see, I see where you're coming from. When you look deep into shit like that, there's, there's, there's people that struggle with stuff like that, right? It's true. They don't, they don't get the panoch as easy as other fools, dog. Hey, bro, this but, fine ass girl hit me up. Let's simp to them. Let's, let's, let's be nice to them and don't have. Yeah, I get it. I get where you're coming okay. from. I didn't think about it that way, but like that's very logical. Okay. If there was really a girl about it. that hit me up. Doesn't follow me. I think it was a real page. Attractive girl. Right. Okay. She hits me up and she says, hey, this guy sexually assaulted my friend. Can you repost this? And then I said, okay, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. And if you can't answer them, please don't bother. Right. So I said, has this guy been arrested? And if so, is there a mugshot? Has this guy been to court? And if so, do you have a case number? Right. Do you have anything else other than his picture and an Instagram post? Exactly. And they blocked me. I'm not going to fall for your fake titties. Exactly. You know, so... You know, and then come on to ask someone to post that just without you even knowing anything knowing about nothing. that. That's weird. Yeah, bro. that's like, like spite. It sounds spiteful. It, it is, but who knows? We, we don't know. Well, but. I ended up doing my research and fi- come to find out it was her ex boyfriend that left her. Ah, so you know what I'm saying, <laughs> what if you did fucking succumb to that, dog? Thank you. You could have fucked that fool's life up. Yeah, Keith. there's a lot of people that are no longer that. Will never be interviewed on road and radio because if you post a shit about me and then come to find out that it wasn't true, then they contact me. Hey, homie, I'm sorry. That's stupid, homie. That's it. Right. You know, you could have came to me and asked me. Right. I, I never logged that, off. That's the logical thing to do. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, you know, if you feel a certain way about accusations, yeah. come holler at the homeboy. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Instead of just running with shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and taking sides. People choose sides. I mean... I, it's it's fucked up, bro. It, it's crazy the times we live in too. Yeah, it, it stems with everything, politics. It stems with the activists, with different shit. Everything, yeah. bro. It's he say, she say. It's hard to know what the fucking truth is, dog. Yeah, and then people are so obsessed with who they back, even if that motherfucker's telling a blatant lie, they're gonna run right. with him anyway, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's weird, bro. It's it's a weird time. You know what's funny that uh, somebody mentioned you, you just said activists. And well, um, I believe you brought somebody here that's uh, very close to Eden. Yes, uh, Eden. Uh, is it Al- Eden or Alex? His real name is Alex, no? Okay, Eden Alex, Alex. is enamorado. enamorado is now enamorado, name. like I'm in love. Okay, yeah. so yeah. that's his real that's name. His real name. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, what do they call them? The, the eight. The Justice Eight. The Justice Eight. Now, just for, just to make sure, this is not like a new Marvel movie. 
Exactly. <laughs> okay. Yes. No. Because that's what it sounds like, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, but, but that's a that's a worthy name, bro. Because I I've, I've, I have a relationship with, with Eden. With um, I know him as Eden. That's how he introduced me okay. to himself. But I, we've done a lot of work together, bro. He uh, he's collaborated with me on videos, some of my videos, because I've 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 had music out there, which you know of, where I yes. speak about the street vendors and stuff like that. That's how I met Eden, bro. Yeah. Because my music brought me to an event. It was a uh, Street Vendors United. You know, they were doing a whole thing, an event for street vendors and raising up money for them and stuff like that. And I performed, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I met him there. And this was before he was like super huge, you know what I'm saying? But he seemed genuine. He was really cool as fuck. I was like, this fool's feeding me, dog. And uh, we just established a relationship right there, you know what I'm saying? And there was a mutual respect, you know what I mean? Because I seen him doing like, he had done like activist work before and shit. Yeah. But yeah, but long story short, bro, like he's he's like I got a lot of respect for Eden. I feel like like I said the Justice 8, that's a worthy name because no one was making noise like that for us. No, bro. No, you know what I'm saying? No. Like I, I'm a rapper, I'm an artist, I'm right. trying to make some noise, right? Right. But that's cool. I'm using my lane, I'm using my niche. I'm right. using music. But he's out there in the trenches, bro, with he, his gente. We finally got somebody to stand up for yes. us, bro, and they fucking lock his ass up. Exactly, dog. It, that's what I don't understand. That's what's scary, fool. No, it, it, it is scary, bro. You know, I've interviewed certain people that have had a voice, you right. know, like, like him, mm -hmm. okay? And I always ask him, bro, you, you know, you, you had people like Malcolm X, you had people like Martin Luther King, and, and just to name a few that have been taken out. Right. And I've always said, do you ever fear of being taken out? Like, uh, I think it was David Sanchez, uh, uh, the founder of uh, the Brown Berets, bro. And right. I'm like, bro, you're a voice. Do, don't you ever fear? And he's right. like, no, no. But the sad part is, is that this guy, Alex Enamorado, doesn't even have bail, bro. I know. It's fucking crazy. It's dog. crazy, bro. You, you got guys, murders, Pedophiles, murders. They could get out on bail. Right. But this guy, what, is he known as a terrorist? That's what they're trying to label him as, dog. And if you hear the, the, the prosecution or the statements that the cops are saying on this particular case, they're trying to paint them as terrorists, as gang members, dog. Uh, okay, it's but like, who is he terrorizing? Exactly. He's terrorizing, if, if they're going that way, everybody that he's confronted was deserving of that confrontation. Yeah. Not even confrontation, but protests, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and going out and like uh, holding them accountable because he's, he's confronting people that have... Beat up vendors. Absolutely. Who have abused vendors who are being racist yeah. and who have just fucked around with our gente. Not even yes. just our gente, but he's been out there for black people, for Asian people. You know what I mean? He's That's what I respect about him, bro. He's consistent, bro. And he's raised so much money for a lot of these vendors, bro. And, but how... When when the community knows, like people like me and, the, and the, everybody that follows him, before they took his page down, he had like almost 300,000, 400,000 followers. Bro. They took his page down? They, they Yeah. He had to make a new one. He, had a, he has a backup one now. He was getting big, bro. Big, big, big. And that's obviously to me why it happened, bro. Like the power was gaining the numbers. He had like his Instagram full of like over 300,000. He was just growing and growing and growing, bro. And um, but what, um, what I was going to say is that Someone like that, man, it's, it's like a threat, right? No, it's when, a big time Because once he starts, no, it's one thing if you're going to protest against people, random civilians, right? Right. But once you start attacking the system or, or cops, yeah. you know, those fools have each other's backs. It's shit, true, bro. Dog, it's you true. know what I mean? And that's why there's four different departments that are involved in this case that are maneuvering uh, say, evidence and shit. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, come on, dog. Like, if there's been disputes at protests... Okay, that happens all the time, bro. It gets rowdy. Some fools get, right. they get, you know, they punch each other, whatever. That happens all the time at protests every yeah. now and then, bro. Absolutely. But like to, to try to pin 16 years on Homeboy for that, yeah, that's like for, some crazy. For really sticking up for people. Exactly, For people that don't have a voice, he was being a voice, and he was pretty much exploiting those fucking people that were beating up the yeah. vendors, punking the vendors, yes. Yes. talking and shit to the vendors. Yes, and it goes beyond that. Everybody that follows him, they know the work he's done. They know the money he's raised. So the sad thing is, is that the, the people against him, they're trying to paint him and all the other seven as criminals and as, uh, as gang members. And they're a group. They're an organization that's Well, they're Mexican, of course, or they're Latino. So, they're, so of course, exactly, they're gang members. Dog, but it's, that, that's the thing. And there's another law they passed in another state, bro. Like, all this shit kind of ties in if you really look at it, dog. But people don't. Yeah, there's a I forgot what state it was, bro, 
But they're, uh, they're, they passed a law recently where a group of Hispanic gang members, they can label them as terrorists, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? It, it got passed. And it well, of course, racism. because if a white person feels threatened, yes, he yes. terrorized me. But that can trickle down, homie, to like different states, right? Or right. whatever. And so that's, that's what they're trying to do with the Justice 8. They're right. trying to paint them as... As terrorists, as gang members, they're over, the, the cop was saying um, they just do these videos for clout, for to get money, and, and they, they pose as people trying to help the community. Like, But the thing, the sad thing is, bro, is if that jury, that juror that they pick, they can fall for that shit, bro. And homeboy true. can do time over some bullshit, which most of the people know is bullshit. Who, who's his attorney? Como se llama? Right. Yeah, Rosenberg. Rosenberg, okay. Okay. Yeah, are he frequent at home? Orale, yeah. But the, it's just sad, bro. But like, there's, and, and like I said, because, like you said, podcasts, rappers, we all fight each other, right? Yeah. There's Blake Thorne in the activist community, too. There's a lot of community people. That, same shit I was telling you Magic, MB Riders, the podcasters. I'm cool with different activists because my rappers. Because my, <laughs> because my music has, like, hey, come to this protest, please, and rap. You know what right. I mean? And I've met different people. Right. Some of these people tend to be, you know, I guess beefing or not in good terms, that's not a good look for us, dog. You know, we, we're at yeah. this point. We need to all be united at, at least, generally be on on the side of the justice aid and fuck all the drama, fuck what's happening, focus on the case, right? And let's get these guys bail, let's get these guys free and win the trial, bro. Because I think I read somewhere that they were saying that he's a flight risk. Yeah, like where the fuck is he gonna go? Exactly, dog. It is, and come on, yeah, it's crazy, bro. Like, they're just trying to paint them in a certain way, but people fall for that. The right jury, like, you know, all that shit's systematic, too. You know, like, that's a whole game. Okay, now, I want to say something, okay? Today, somebody posted up a video, of course, about me. Tony A's house got raided. Tony A this, Tony A that. Tony A's good looking. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and um, so... Swole, dog, swole. Yeah, so what happened was, I started going in the comments, like, giggling, you know? And I saw guys that I thought I was cool with yeah, commenting, oh, they finally got him. I knew it. And I'm like, bro, I thought we were cool. You came to my house. Damn, you took bro. a shit in my restaurant and forgot to flush the toilet. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was cool with you. <laughs> and I went in there and I just liked all their comments. Just like, so they, they know that I saw it. Okay, whatever. Right. Some of them actually deleted their comments after they saw that I liked it. Right. No problem. Has he... As Alex and Amaral experienced that, now that he's in jail, people have come forward like, I knew he was going to get caught. Right, right. Go ahead, dog. Come, come right here real quick, dog. Speak on that real quick. Let's give him about five minutes. Yeah, cool. More, okay. Uh, first and foremost, please introduce yourself, bro. And speak directly to the mic. Yeah, what's going on? My name's Lion Lyons. I'm a community activist out here in the Harbor area. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, um, how do you know Alex and Amaral? I, I know him by Alex. I, I never met the guy in person, but I do... Uh, uh, follow him and know who he is. He could always call in, you know what I mean? I talk to him direct all the time, so okay. if you have a number, you guys could always, you know, pri chat in private or whatever. But um, I met Eden in 2017. Uh -huh. We were uh, both um, in the same page for fighting uh, sanctuary cities. Yeah. When uh, that whole situation, when Trump and everything was going on. Yeah, yeah, okay. So he gets arrested. How do you find out, on social media or? No, because like I know him personally, so. So he called you? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, well, how first and foremost, how was he doing, bro? As far as mentally, bro, uh, what's his mental mind state? Well, he was he's he slammed down right now, so we're, I'm waiting for him to get out so we could talk. Okay, no, but as far as have you talked to him on the phone from, from um, in the there? Last time I talked to him on the phone was ten, uh, like seven, eight days prior because he he's in a hole. Oh, okay. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Say that again. My boy slammed down right now, so you know, it's, it, it, oh, it's it, in the holes. Yeah, well, I'm, you know, I'm just understanding. No, I, I understand, but there's people that may not know that terminology. Yeah, so basically, um, it's just he's in solitary confinement where he's locked up for 23 hours and he's out for one. Like that? Yeah. See, that's the part that I don't think the public knew. 23 there's, hours. There, there's a lot of things that the the public doesn't know, and I don't want to give his too much. Yeah, his enemies any feel or anything like that. Right. So believe it or not, as as evil as this world is, like some people are happy to hear that. Wow. Yeah. You know, now, if you had to guesstimate, why do you think they're happy to hear that? You know what? Um, I'm, I'm not that, I'm not in that mindset, you know what I mean? So I right. wouldn't know, you know right. what I mean? But for whatever reason, I mean, I, I think they need help, you know? But if they really 
sat down with the brother and he he's a really approachable man you know what i mean like he he will talk to you and you don't have to necessarily be on the same side, but he'll understand your point of view, and you got to also understand the other. You yeah. just got to have mutual respect, you know what I mean? Right. But if he's doing something positive, you would think, like, why would he have haters? Correct. But that's just that's just the way it is, bro. It's and the it, same thing with you, you know, this yeah. morning uh, with your situation. I wasn't even aware of that until you were talking about it right yeah. now, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, people that you know, in reality, they they don't really like you. They say they do, but they yeah. don't. They don't. Yeah. And, and you know what? I have, a, I have a lot of close friends that have told me. There's a lot of guys that claim to be your friends. He said, but behind closed doors, when I talk to them, they don't say nice things about you. Yeah. And I said, well, thank you for telling me. Yeah. So, I've been you know. On, I've been on the shopping block for uh, stepping up for the brother. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm getting a lot of hate as well, but it doesn't matter. Like someone said, hey, don't go over there because they're going to um, they're gonna investigate you. I don't care. My brother needs me. I'm gonna fucking be there. That's what we're for. It. You know what I mean? That's what we're here for. Absolutely. Carnalismo. If you're real, if you're really about it, you know what I mean. And and the brother knows. You know what I mean? Well, I'm this is where here. we find out who's who. Exactly. You know, exactly. when the shit hits the fan, yeah. we find out who who's is who, who bro. Yep. And and let me tell you something, you piece of shit. If you're uh, talking shit about this man right here, that, that's locked up because he stood up for the people, then maybe you ought to really fucking check yourself before you criticize somebody. Exactly. Because if you were uh, uh Hey, what's up, Alex? And in his face. Yep. But the moment he gets locked up, you start talking shit. Yep. You're really a piece of shit. Yep. Because you, you, you know what a hypocrite is? It actually comes from a Greek word. It means that some uh, actor that wears a mask. Yep. You wore a mask the whole time in front of him. Yep. And as soon as he got locked up, you took that shit off and you revealed who you are. So times like this reveals who people are. Bro. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, and you just said it yourself, you know, with the fake pages. That's what it came down to. That's the modern day thing now. Fake pages. Yep. Fake people. Yep. Only fake people make fake pages. Yep, there you go. Yeah, because if you're a real man, you would say, yeah. hey, Cyber Skate, bro, I need to yep. chop it up with you. Yep. Meet me somewhere. Yep. No, but you got to go hide and put your name fucking Nostradamus and put a picture of fucking, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> <laughs> a fucking blue lamb on right there, whatever. But anyways, other than that, uh, um, any more updates about him, bro? So we do have a, a like a GoFundMe, and it's under um, Barbara, Barbara James, who's um, his real, his blood. Yeah. And his uh, dad's um, Zelle account that I could forward to you guys if you guys could okay. share that. And then um, everybody that's incarcerated has their own representative. And so they, all, they each have their own links that goes directly to the family. And, and not only Alex, but all the other ones. Right. Are, are they in the hole as well? No. So just him? Just him and his partner. How's his wife doing? Do you know anything? Um, yeah, I'm in, I'm in contact with, uh, with the representative of, of Wendy, which is Eden's uh, wife. Yeah. Uh, I don't really want to talk too much of about that, but she knows, and we're we're always talking on the back end, you know, for a lot of people that are, are wondering. Uh, we are connected. We all talk, and we all just kind of, like, figure out what's going to be next for the families and stuff like that. Wow, bro. It, it's just sad, bro. Well, listen, um, we're going to go ahead and continue with Hypnotic, but I want to thank you for coming. And um, first and foremost, if you can either reach me directly or through Hypnotic, any updates, bro, okay. so that we can continue to shed a little bit of light on it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And I want to I want to thank you, Tony, because there's a lot of influencers that just went ghost on Alex. Um, I guess you know, times like this, it shows like you said, who's who and who's what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, bro. Thank, thank you. you, bro. Appreciate, Appreciate you. you guys. Okay, Alex, can you get us another round, please? Ah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I I feel like it was important, bro. Um. Like I said, I haven't been able to go to some of those court you need dates. Another one? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, I don't want you what I can do me. is bring homeboy here and talk in, you know, on your platform. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got an opportunity here for myself. Let me let me bring the homeboy here, update people about, Absolutely. about the Justice 8. And what you were saying, though, some people, I think I, what I've noticed, dog, like politics is has really like um, gotten people a certain way, bro, where they're going to defend their boy. Like Alex... And uh, Eden's been very outspoken about yes. Trump before, right? Yeah. So if you're a, a, a Trump supporter, you're almost automatically going to say, fuck Alex, he hated on Trump before. Instead of, like, looking at the good that he's doing, yes. I feel like politics influences people way too much where they can't get over, oh, he's already, he's talking bad about Trump, so I can't support what he does because they ride for Trump so much or vice versa, whatever. And that's the sad thing is that you can't separate politics from 
facts from actually seeing what homeboy's doing. Because right. now they're going to actually, like, it's easy. Like, it doesn't uh, align with their political beliefs, bro. No, that's a right. sad thing. And that's what this yes. country's going through, bro. You know, you know I'm going to say something. When Trump ran the first time, I was like, fuck that fucking pelos de elote. Yeah. You know, I couldn't stand that motherfucker. But I'll tell you what. Trump runs again. I'm voting for Trump, bro. I'd rather have him than that fucking Michael Myers here, Joe Biden. Yeah. That guy's like a month away from dementia, bro. If not, he's already there. And I'd rather vote for Trump over Michael Obama. I mean, Michelle Obama. The Vato. So, yeah, the Vato. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yes, I, if, if those are our picks. But, yeah, okay. Even with you saying that, like... You don't like me the, no more. No, no. The no. fact that the fact that like you you can differentiate that and still support Eden. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course. You know what I'm saying? But there's people that can't do that, bro. See, yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah, because yeah. they they let their their political beliefs control every aspect of their life. Absolutely. Dog. You know bro. what I'm saying? And they can't support nobody that been opposed to Trump type shit. I mean, for, for an you example, let's just say, but if yeah, I, dog. I don't know if I'm I'm gonna walk out and uh, you support Trump now. Yeah, exactly. Dog. <laughs> look, look. <laughs> Look, if I talk, I to, disagree with you, but I'm not gonna walk out on you, dog. You know what I'm saying? And that's all good. Exactly. That's all good. My thing is, that, let's just say I talk to Alex and I, he says, "Fuck Trump, I don't like that motherfucker." I don't care whether you like Trump. Trump's not my boy. Right, right. I'm not gonna lose sleep over that. Right, you know? right. But I am gonna. Way. But I am gonna go ahead and fucking uh, vote for him and still tell him, but I'm still here to support you. Right, you right, know? right. So that's it. But some people can't do that. That's that, and that's the problem, like uh, like politics, because. The Trump supporters that I've ran into, some of them, they, they like, like that's their Dios, bro. Like, that's their Jesus Cristo, yeah. like, low-key. And that's kind of weird, bro, how they, they ride or die for him, and he could do no wrong, this and that. And, like, yeah, I don't know, bro. Like, they're just, it's just, you know, nobody's riding for Biden like that, dog. Like, Hell you might have no. voted for Biden. I, I voted for him, but it's not like, yo, I'm not believing every fucking word he said, That motherfucker's like, yes, yeah, skip, skip it, be about but bam, boom. He can't even get some words out, bro. You know what, dog? I'm going to be real right now. Yes, sir. I, I've said this before. Anybody right now, they can they can do this whole two, three-hour clip right now and get yes. three, like three minutes of me sounding like a pendejo, dog. <laughs> I've seen Biden's like full-on shit. Yeah, he's a little slow. But a they, little? But they get, they, they piece together the yes. 30 seconds where he's all fucked up. But the yeah. other... 35 minutes was actually pretty coherent dog you know what i'm saying but that's just the world we live in bro where anything can be um exaggerated or you can focus on that we could clip shit up you know what i'm saying yeah no exactly let's um, keep it real bro you know because uh, you know, i was like no let me see this fool let me see a whole segment because i right. get it he looks slow as fuck you, you know those those <laughs> But, you know, but I saw a segment, I was like, hey, he's, he's making sense, bro. No, but you know those vacuums? He's just boring. You know those round vacuums, bro, that go around like this? Like, See, you notice that every time he finishes a speech, he's like, he's like one of those vacuums? <laughs> <the> way, <laughs> yeah. Who won the fuck won? Uh, I've seen some shit where he's pretty coherent, though, too, though. But, of course, the enemy, they're going to, or whatever, his opposition. I'm not here to defend Biden, though, but I'm just saying, like, fucking, they, they can easily do that shit. Where they, they, out of the whole hour, they'll put a 30, 40-second clip where he was all fucking pendejo and shit, dog. But, yeah. but you know what I'm saying? But watch the whole clip, dog. Pero si es pendejo. <laughs> But, okay. no, on some real shit, though, dog, I'm glad that I, you know, like I said, I wasn't able to go to some of those court cases and stuff. But hey, if I can bring attention and, like you said, and, and to the fucking salute mm -hmm. to the case, then let's do it, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's how I can do my part. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, Roomba, yeah. There's a the fucking president Roomba. Motherfuckers always with his Michael Halloween hair. Anyways. Um, in a couple of minutes, we're going to take some phone calls. Um, anybody can call me and ask me anything. Anybody can call him and ask Hypnotic anything. Now, is there anybody out there, bro, that you want to work with, that you want to reach out to, bro? Anybody you want to do a feature with? <sighs> yeah, dog. I've been, I've, uh, I said it before, I, I would love to do a feature with Little Rob, bro. Okay. But that fool, I know he seems to be very, um, como dice, like, uh, Picky about who he works with But I've met him a few times bro And it's been nothing but love Actually I did a show with him in San Diego Like two years ago And I introduced myself Yeah And he goes oh yeah Hypnotic I know who you are bro So that was like oh shit 
Yeah, he like, watches us. Like, little Rob knows who I am. I was like, that was a surprise All right, little Rob, he's trying to hook up with you, bro. <laughs> let's make this happen, bro. Dog, dog, that would be a sick-ass track. Me and let's little Rob. Bro. Yeah, let's That do would it, be bro. fucking dope, Fuck bro. It, why not? Chop it up with him or not? Yeah, bro, I, I got his number. I could chop it up with whenever I want to, whenever Have I see him. Have you, though? Like, lately? The last time I saw him was at the Novo. Before that, Sunday in the park. And after that right. was last year. But, you know, it's just more of like, hey, what's up, brother? How you doing? Toma. Just, okay, just pretty short. I mean. I, he's see, doing a lot of interviews right now, bro. I, I, I would love to see him. Well, bro, I, I was talking to Little Rob about three fucking yeah, years yeah, ago, yeah, and he no, was supposed I, to be here first. I know he's been on a lot of shit, but it'll be dope to see him here, bro. Like, that's a <sighs> that's a icon in, in the Chicano game. Okay, now I'm going to put, put the ball in his court. Little Rob, if you want to be here, you hit me up, bro, because I hit you up several times. Right. Inada. Right, right, right. So. We're good. Plus, you know, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, no, little. I, I don't. I, as far as working with anybody else, I mean, I can't really think of nobody right now, dog. Like, I'm more doing my own shit, and um, I'm down to work with up and coming. Is there any rappers you don't want to work now, my friend? <laughs> Everybody, dog. <laughs> okay, so little Rob, give me a couple of more names. Um, Even if they're not Rasa, bro. Uh, fuck. I already have a track with Crooked Eye. That was one of my favorite. Oh, Tech Nine, bro. I'm a big Tech mm. Nine fan, bro. Okay. Tech Nine, my what favorite. What about Desi Hollow? Yeah, I would love to do a track with Desi Hollow. For real? Yeah, definitely, for sure. He's a he grew. He's an Oceanside. I was born in Oceanside, dog. I was, I'm okay. from the Escondido 760 area and shit. So he's from the same area and shit. I actually tried to do a song with him. I met him and shit, but he was just not doing features at the moment. So now it's like, I would have been down, but it was like... I guess I wasn't, I didn't have enough clout, you know what I'm saying, dog? So, I mean, business is business, dog. I mean, I'm not going to assume his reasoning, but but I did reach out One to One day I'm going to write a podcasting book. I said it first. You like Desi? Do I like, yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. But the thing is with me is this, that, bro, you, you already know I come from a different school, bro. Right. So when people say, oh, I'm not doing features right now, just say you don't want to do the song with you. Right, exactly. Just say that. Right. Be a fucking man and just say, I don't want to do it. If you do want to do it, cool. You know? I've so. had a, you know what, to be honest too, I don't know, I, I don't want to assume anything, but I had a, a known artist tell me that um he's down to do a track with me and shit, but that he's also been told, hey, are you sure you want to do a track with him? Not that he's pretty political, he's pretty, you know, he, he raps about this and that. What, what, what is it? They, they think but, you're the fucking Mexican Chuck D? That's what? what I'm saying. It's like, it's, it's one of those things where I don't know how, this guy has, has he's valid with, with uh, his how deep he is in the game, I know who right. he is. So I I took his word. I was like, okay, who knows? But I don't I don't know if that's for every mm-hmm. scenario. But it's hard to say, bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't think I'm that controversial. I just speak up for my gente, dog. If I if I really thought that, right? Like, I think you're a nice guy, bro. So I don't know why this guy. Thank are, you, dog. Are acting it. acting like this, bro? It's like, but I'm not tripping though. Though I've never had that mindset of like features are cool. The MC Magic feature, that shit has helped me yeah. a ton, bro. That puts validity to my name. Absolutely. Just people seeing me doing shows with him and having a video with him. Like, damn, homie, you made it. You know what I mean? All that right. shit matters, bro. And that song is like my most streamed to this day, bro. No shit. It gets consistent streams on Spotify, Apple, YouTube, everything. It's, if it's, I started rapping, would you do a song with me? I'll, I'll be down, dog. I got to hear your skills first, fool. Oh, see, that's that, messed up. That kind of matters to me, that's dog. That's messed up, bro. <laughs> I can rhyme cat with like hat. I like your style, dog. You know what I'm saying? I met this girl oh, named Jack Kid Frost fool. Legend That would be a dope track really? I, I would like to do a song with Kid Frost I, I got the plug with him though To Hennessy Lounge Kiki Tony, uh, Tony G Tony G's a yeah, fucking legend that's, that's my hint right there I started doing That's where I started recording What if I just like do Like you will Aquí estoy MC Kid Frost No and The podcast of Tony <laughs> You don't know me Hey, so Frost had, had one of the illest me. voices, dog. Yeah, absolutely. Come bro. on. That's what made him like. Bro, shit, bro, let bro. me tell you something. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. No. People say, well, he didn't write his own lyrics. Whether he did or he didn't, nobody could have done it. that fucking song like yes. he did. No way. His mic presence, his delivery, bro. Yeah. Period. So. And that's that's one that's our biggest song to this day, bro. And, and Okay, so 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 you just opened up a can of worms. Okay. So you got, let me just name a few. Uh La Raza, Mentirosa, Sunday Afternoon. Where are those songs today? Do we have songs? You got, you got, you got Throwing Summer Nights, which was a little after that. Okay, okay, that's one. That was after, though. Okay. It wasn't the same era. Okay, that's one. Give me three more. You're right, there is. We'll be back in an hour, guys. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Keep going. Summer Nights, for sure. 
<sighs> Capone had a few hits, but I wouldn't say they're like classic like that. I'm not talking about slappers. I'm talking about hits. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because bro. everything's a slapper when it's loud. Baby Bash, Sugar Sugar. Okay, but do you really consider that Chicano? He's not rap? really Chicano. He is, but he's not. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about the genre. Right. Okay. I get what you're saying. Okay, that's two. But two, you sugar, got two more. Sugar, but that's. And those are the people headlining shows yes. and selling out. Yeah. Hits matter, dog. The, the quality of the music hits. matters at the end of the day. You know, when people come MB up to writers, me. they had a lot of hits. We got to give it to them. Okay, there you with go. With Magic and all them together. Okay, there you go. Three. Pretty, you got pretty, one more. Uh, something about you, baby. And oh, Lost in Love. That was okay. a. Okay. Lost in Love. Oh, I but it's all from the same artist. MB Riders has a, a batch of hits. Okay, that's cool. But it's that's very cool. limited. Yeah, all right. And hits, that's what we, I think you had talked about it before. So like, we got four. Can you give me one more? Do you dare to give me one more? <sighs> or is there anybody on the chat? <laughs> Let me look at the chat, fool. Go ahead. <laughs> Come on, dog. Somebody put Swamp Meat Hits. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Swamp Meat Hits. Fucking hater ass fools. Oh, dog. lean like a cholo. Oh my. Oh yeah, lean like a cholo, dog. Uh, by Chula, by Hypnotics, pretty dope, dog. That one's pretty good. You all heard that you, one. Dog. You got a, you, you got another one over there. Yeah, fools, fools trying to fuck me up, dog. Oh come on, bro. <laughs> hey, somebody give me a uh, some. Come on, where's the chat at, bro? I need some help, dog. Okay, Spanish fly. It's so eighteen with the bully. Okay, but like you're talking about like. Hits that are hits, mainstream, yeah, hits. that actually made the mainstream. Yes. Lean like a cholo definitely qualifies. Okay. Yeah, so there's a of few dogs. See, everybody, everybody always says, "Oh, that dude has slappers." Right, right. You know what happens when people take me to the studio? They play the track and they turn that motherfucker up loud. And I, you know what I do? Uh, turn that down. Put it on these two small NS tens. Let's listen to it. Right. Because everything sounds good loud. You could be like, "Hell yeah, that motherfucker slaps." Everything sounds good loud. Turn that shit down. Let's see if it sounds any good. Right, right. Are we going to be listening to it 10 years from now? Right. You know. It's, it's a timeless music. Because, like, like I said, and I, people always know that I say this, you know, good music has no expiration. It's true. Timeless. Bro, magic could be 20 years from now still be performing. Of course. He could be 70 years old. It's true. Something about you, baby. baby. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's go, magic. So... But that's why, that, and, and like like I said, that's why they're selling out right now, bro. Like, and so, like somebody put they're selling Tony out. Would rap like later. Mix Master Spade? Yeah, I would. I would. Uh, uh, let me give you Mix Master Spade. Uh, fuck, what is that verse? I used to cut up the beat on the two turntables. Now I'm rapping on the mic because I'm willing to enable, and that's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> he had that singing rap style like second to none. Right, right, right. No, but man, you don't rap at all. Tamales and presents. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. That's all. Uh, God, God did not bless me with that talent. All right, let me let me do a let me do the new verse for my 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 Let's single coming out on the twenty second, dog. It goes. Original vato originales. You know I got the estilo from my jefe en carnales. Yo soy chingón ese, like Kid Frost. These new school rappers out here wearing lip gloss. Low key, I got a vato pissed off. Tell me, when did the Chicano culture start to get lost? And I hate it with my own raza, I hate it. Claiming that it's corny and it's way outdated. With your way low the ass, corny ass swag. Hating on me, I got my 40 ounce bagged. Cortez is on my feet and my dickies don't sag. Trying to step to me and the strictly toe tags kill them with originality just like assault and battery the way i whoop their ass on the track come and battle me it never gets old dipping six foes y'all already know how the wicked west rolls nah i mean like that, let's go good give him a hand clap <laughs> let's give him a hand clap uh, let's go ahead and put the number up we're gonna go ahead and take some phone calls once again if you got the balls make the calls i like to tell you guys we, we got about 15 on? 20 minutes on as, as soon as we get a call i'll tell oh, you when to put the headphones so. on Dude, I got this motherfucker on my ass. Tony, yeah, you never take calls. Fuck you, the, you're fake. The rojo, dog. I'm like, bro, I tried calling in 20 times and never got in. Okay, we got the number up. Call in, bro. Right. Like, shit, believe me. There's guy, Tony, I called 20 times and you never pick up. <laughs> Fuck. I get blamed for everything, bro. Well, you're the, you're the head honcho, dog. This Tony, show, hey, dog. this. I was like, I was asleep. So... <laughs> The fuck? Anyways. Damn, another shot for it, game. Oh, you want one? No, but oh, right there, yeah. It, dog. Okay, 
Are we sipping it or? I, I'm sipping my shit. All right, me. I'm down to that. That's the so, proper way to do it. Exactly, bro. bro. Then, I think it was Ralph M that he sipped and then he mouthwashed. Like, oh, 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 oh. He does that it's shit. It's not wine, dog. Okay, here we go. Caller, your name and where are you calling from? Caller. Oh, shit. Hello, caller, caller, caller. Caller. Yo, yo. Nothing. Did you turn it down? No. Can you hear both ears? I can hear both ears. Okay, he hung up. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. <sighs> caller, your name, where are you calling from? Hello, caller. Yo. What the fuck? I don't know. Uh, you might have to... The connection? Okay. Connect. No, I, I got it, bro. Like, okay. Let's see. Here we go. Let's go. Caller, your name, and where are you calling from? Caller. And hey, that's why that caller was saying all that shit, dog. Uh, might have to uh, unplug the talk. Bluetooth. Okay, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> okay. Do it again. Uh, do it again. Here we go. Okay, I'm connected now. Okay, let's see. All right, you guys, my apologies. We're having technical difficulties or drunken difficulties. <laughs> so, so let's go. I, we, I saw like we had like six calls. Damn, so, bato. Yeah, life's a risk. <laughs> life's a risk, carnal. Exactly. Caller. Dude. What the fuck is going on? Here we go right here. All right, you got it? Caller, your name and where are you calling from? What's up, Tony? Hey, this is Ray Rice. Ray Rice, I fucking knew it was you. You got that smooth, very white voice. What's good, bro? <laughs> How you doing? I'm good, my bro. You got a question for Hypnotic? No, no I got a question for you, Tony. Hey, would you ever get Daz Dillinger on, bro? You Ooh, ready? That would be dope, dog. Daz Dillinger and um, was actually booked a year ago, bro. And then he just canceled. Okay. So I'm trying to get okay, him back. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to get corrupt. But believe me, this year I'm going to have a DPG, cast of All-Star, bro. DPG will be dope. Yeah, dog. I'm going to have a cast of All-Star. Okay, what what about um uh Kid Frost? You know what? Kid Frost has made it public that he's not doing no interviews, bro, because he's working on, I think he said his movie or his documentary. I know he got a deal for a documentary. I didn't know that. Yeah, so that's why he's not trying to give okay. a story out just yet. I think when it comes out, After he'll that. do his podcasting right. rounds. Okay, okay. So, anything else? No, no, that's it. All good, Ray Rice. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you, homie. Yo, You're welcome, Tony. Ain't no problem. I think Daz is one of the most underrated producers. Oh, yeah, ever, absolutely. Dog. This guy, Ray Rice, bro, he's a, a day one supporter, bro. Right, right. That's why I, I love and respect these guys that call in like that. Here we go. Call her your name or where are you calling from? Yo. Call her. Stockton? Yeah, what's good, my brother? How you doing? You got a question for, for Hypnotic? Keep up the good work. Yeah, we chilling, dog. Thank you, my bro. All right, have a good night. Thank you. Just wanted to call. Yeah, just give us props, dog. Show some love. No wrong with that. Here we go. <laughs> Caller, your name, or where are you calling from? I got the I got the ball, so I'm gonna make the calls, baby. Hell yeah, <laughs> let them nuts hang, homie. Yeah, all day, baby. What up, Tony? Just chilling, my bro. Chilling right here with my boy Hypnotic, enjoying another drink. This is round four with him. Is that four, dog? Damn. No, no, no. The fourth time you've been here. Oh, oh that's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, four. We talking about shots? Or we talking? Okay, no, we talking about the segments, dog. Okay. What's good, my brother? You got a question? Damn. Yeah, I was just going to let you know all those other callers calling in and fucking talking shit, they can suck a dick. A, a big one. I just want to let you know I, I, I support you, Tony. Just keep it, keep it mobbing and keep it strolling. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Truly appreciate you, homie. Everybody else is fake. <laughs> and, for, uh, hey, and for Taco Bell uh, hot sauce, tell that fool, tell that fool to uh, get, get down with fucking Blue Devil. Yeah. <laughs> They're about the same size. They're both little baby trolls. <laughs> there you go. All good. Hear that, Norby? But, but I send my foot and uh, 
for those chaps that call in and fucking disrespect, they can suck a dick. Absolutely. Five, three, oh, this a big shit. black one. <laughs> big fat one, BBC, big black dog. one, whatever one they want. BBC in the hey, house. I'm BBC, <laughs> dog. I'm ball by choice, homie. There you go. There you go. Long, dog. You know uh, what I'm saying? Thank Let you, my bro. Hang. Five, three, oh, south side. I bang. Blue rag all day, baby boy. All right. See you guys later. Have a good night. All right, Stay baby. blessed, homie. I- Okay, let's keep you pushing. We got a couple of more minutes. We got a couple of more calls. If you got the balls, make the calls. Once again, let those nuts hang. Okay. You know you got nuts if you're wearing biker shorts and they're hanging. So let's go. Yes. Call it your name or where are you calling from? Is this you again? Fonzo, Tracy, California. Hey, my brother, can you turn on your TV, please? Yeah, I turned it down. All good, my brother. You got a question? Can you hear me? Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, I just want to call in. Um, I want to uh, shout out uh, Hypnotic, um, Lions over there, um, Free to Justice, eh? um, right, right. We've been having like a, uh, I don't really got a question, but it's been like a media blackout, man, that's not trying to get no attention to this. And I just want to real quickly just tell everybody to Google Fontana Mayor Aquanetta Warren scandal. We're trying to finish Eden's work. Um, it's a beautiful thing that I'm from up north working with Lion. He's from out south. We had a, a two actions. Uh, and one in San Jose and in Victorville, we're working together out in the streets, trying to trying to raise awareness for the justice aid. But all this, I'm gonna let y'all know, all this revolves around a Fontana mayor. Right. She's been taking kickbacks. Uh, she got connections to all Ooh. these people. Um, I wish I could get more into it. I only got so much time, but this is deep. Right. And I, I appreciate y'all for letting them speak on it because th- this thing right here, the 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 Attorney General Rob Bonta tried to sue this lady. And she's still standing. So you got to understand, like, what Eden was going up against, the corruption. Mm-hmm. She was going after street vendors, and then he uncovered all this other I stuff. So that's that. why I re- he's in I confinement. That. I remember that uh, that, uh, that mayor, the Fontana mayor, man. She she came off really racist. I've seen a lot of Eden's videos and stuff. And I feel like that was the one that might be behind a lot of the, like, the push on the investigation towards them and shit. You know what I'm saying? He's so, Thanos. Mm-hmm. Say that again. Sounds, say, like, what, what do we uh, search? So out, what do we search thank again? You, bro. What do we search again? Say that. What do we search? Uh, look up Fontana Mayor, Fontana Mayor, Aquanetta Warren scandal. Okay. She did a 1.1 million payout to one of her city managers. Another one resigned after 17 months. She's building hella warehouses, taking kickbacks. Eden went over there to support the street vendors because she spent $600,000 on code enforcement and then all this other stuff. Got uncovered. So yeah, she, if you she really was, hi- she was hiring the outside trail with the timeline. Yeah. yeah, she was hiring like outside people yeah. to, to confiscate the street vendors like food and all that stuff without really no no jurisdiction to do that. I remember that dog. Uh, Eden was uh, yeah. was like putting that on blast. Yeah. So I I know who you're talking about. I know who yeah. you're talking about. But yeah, Fonzo, yeah. So man, thank we, you, Hypnotic. I've been out there with Lion James. We're trying to uh, we're trying to raise awareness right now. We need we need bodies out there. We need people. Yeah. To just help in this moment of history because Eden's going to come out a hero when this is all written, when it's all hey, said and done. Imagine like, how period, much no bigger Eden will be. If, bro, they're going to make a movie about him, bro. That's what I'm saying. When he wins this case, that's going to oh, yeah. fuel even more fire, dog. He better win, bro. Like, we need the Raza to really get yeah, behind the, and demand. Bro, I already know they're going to make a movie about him, a Netflix, hey. a Netflix series. Watch. He's that dude, dog. And it, it, you know what it is, bro? Hey, it's Tony, because- any- Go ahead, dog. Yeah. Anyway, Tony, that you could give us even ten minutes, bro, just to speak a little bit more on facts. We'll we'll pay or whatever. Like we need podcasts. We because the mainstream media they're just running smear campaigns, trying to call them a terrorist. They use the N word, uh, all these things, bro. And then the people are just watching. We got to go against them using hopefully your platform. Uh, Raza, you need the party jumped on board to put a positive look, statement, look. and he's a good dude, man. They're just trying to paint yeah. him as being something he's not. You know what I mean? Put our tags up. Okay, here's my thing. We're gonna put our tags up, bro. Uh, my Instagram is there. His Instagram is there. I know Fonzo. Okay. I know Homeboy. Okay, right reach out him. to me, please, and we'll we'll work something out, bro. Where we you can get a little bit more time. Okay. Right. Please, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Respectfully. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Reach that out to me. We'll make it work, bro. All right, Fonzo. Hey, nice talking and to you, dog. We'll see you, dog. All right, brother. Peace. Okay, we got a couple of more minutes. Let's take a couple of more phone calls. Let's go. You guys want to find out what, when he's going to drop his next single, video, show, whatever. You guys want to say how good looking he is? Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> how much does he bench press? I already said that, dog, but so, yeah, you hated on me, fool. Well, yeah, exactly. I did. 
Call her your name or where are you calling from? What's going on? This is a job from the Deep Blue Sea. From the where? Deep Blue Sea? Jaws from the Deep Blue Sea. Mm-hmm. All good, my brother. How are you doing tonight? You got a What's question? Up, Tony? How you doing? What's good, my bro? Uh, two questions. Um, one, what's up with the cassette with uh, you and uh, High C? What's up with me and High C? The cassette with you and High C. The cassette I sent in a while back. Oh, you're the one that sent it, right? Yes, sir. Oh, you know what? Just, hold, just on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Update, that's all. hold on. I'm going to screenshot your number, bro, okay? Uh, you don't mind that, right? <laughs> okay, I'm going to screenshot your number. I'm going to shoot you a text, and uh, I'll tell you when I've sent it out. But it's already done. I'm, I'm going to be real with you, bro. i just been so fucking busy and been lagging. This guy sent me a cassette. Right. And he said, can you and High C autograph it? Oh, shit. And we autographed it. Like, it's an original High C. That's fucking dope. Dog. So I'm going to send it back to you, bro. I appreciate you. But for, you know what he's talking for, about. You got Yes. It. Yeah, yeah, Thank dope. you, my bro. So that's my, you, you're going to get it back, Thank bro. you so much. That's one question. He yeah. has two questions. Thank you, thank you. You got it. What's your second and one? My second one, um, I don't know if you watch a, a Libre, like the WWE. Which one? WWE. Wrestling. No, no, I'm more of a of a Lucha Libre fan than I am a WWE guy. So, because... Uh, I was going to ask. Yeah, go ahead. What are your thoughts on the allegations with uh, Vince McMahon? Like, you know, like him uh, sexually harassing, sexually assaulting, like, uh, people... <laughs> Okay. Like the corporation. Okay, I'm gonna but. say this. This is this is the generation of uh, sexual harassment, bro. You could have kissed a girl in the '70s, and this fucking ugly ass duck will come out later on and say, "My life has never been the same. He groped me. He kissed me, and <laughs> I I can't even face myself in the mirror. Like I want to dip myself in bleach. Like." Shut the fuck up. Like, you know, th- there's there's people that are facing allegations from like 25 to 30 years ago, bro. Right. You know, now, look, much love and respect to the women that are real victims. Right, of course. But today you got fucking fake ass bitches that are like, I'm going to go public. I'm going to post it's, you it's on hard, It's hard to differentiate who's real and who's not. You know what I mean? Because these fake hoes. They fuck it up for the real ones. For the real yeah. ones. Yeah. Much love and respect for the real ones. But all you fake ones, fuck you. So Vince McMahon <laughs> is a meal ticket, bro. Of course. You know? That motherfucker is so out. look balling, look at, balling, if, balling. if you're popular, you're famous, and you're rich, be careful. Be careful. You could take a, a girl off for okay. a drink, walk her to her car. Right. The next day, he slapped her ass. Mm-hmm. She's traumatized. <laughs> You know, she's seen five different fucking, you know, physicians and now therapists are, are don't know what's wrong with her. And I'm like, right, right. Fuck. It's, it sucks that, it, that yeah. people, or there's people like that that uh, do that. Let, let's be honest. To, this is the generation that I want to get paid. Accuse a motherfucker. Of course. That's what, so men. Yeah, that's there's, true. Easy, there's easy ways to make yes. money, dog. People, people men, hop on that. Men, be careful who you talk to. Because these women see you guys yeah, as a I fucking thought, meal ticket. So. Yeah, I just, I just thought it was weird because in the early 2000s, like in the 90s, WWE was like super weird, you know. Back then, like, I guess it was normal to like sexually harass and like assault fucking like girls on TV, you know. And it's weird now because it's yeah. like 20 fast forward. And now it's like, damn, now they're bringing it more to light. He it's said fucking it was, weird, he you said know. Back I thought then, that was he said back then it was normal for sexual arrest. Yeah, yeah. It was just cool. Like, it was, I guess because it was we real. Do it. We can do it. It wasn't, it wasn't against the law back then. <laughs> but today, I guess what he's saying is today. I, I get what you're saying, so, but it just came off a certain way. But I guess what he's saying is today is trending. <laughs> To <laughs> accuse a motherfucker. No, he was pretty much saying, like, back then it was normal to just <laughs> sexual harassment was feed him it. It was cool. It was feed him it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> like, I didn't mean it like that. I that's know, what like, you, you said, know, like, dog. Like, like, I know like that, but I, I mean, I get Yeah, I get what you're saying. It was normal though. back then, like, yeah, it was normal was back then. As a matter of fact, guys, <laughs> sexual harassment was normal back then. <laughs> Today, if you're going to take a girl out, honestly, <laughs> hypnotic. Today, if you're going to take a girl out, go live. 
and record yeah, yeah. the whole shit. <laughs> Film your whole shit. <laughs> hey, Film your entire day. Hey, you guys, this is Socorro. <laughs> Socorro. <laughs> Socorro. <laughs> the most Mexicana name, John. <laughs> she ordered shrimp chow mein <laughs> and you? orange chicken. Where'd you get Socorro from, John? And look how far we're sitting. <laughs> no. So... Just in so case. Gorro, Thank you, my bro. Peace. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> oh shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, fuck. Because you got a bunch of Miss Pac Mans out there, bro. That's what I'm saying. I, I hear you. Bro. So, anyways, um, other than that, let, we're gonna take one more phone call. Who's gonna be our last caller? Who's gonna be the lucky guy? Okay, or, or girl, or girl, or trans. We don't know. He me, might be non-binary. We don't know. Okay, here we go. Call her your name, or where are you calling from? Como? Hello? Hello? Yeah, your name, where are you calling from? Can you from? hear me? Yeah. Daniel Santa Maria. Daniel from Santa Maria. What's good, my bro? Yeah. No, nah, not much, man. Um, yeah, I was just wanting to say, man, I, I don't think, uh, like, you know, like a lot of people like this Chicano rap stuff, but you know, you just can't duplicate that ninety sound. You know, I mean, when you think about groups like the Twins and Lil Half Dead and Dr. Dre and DOC, these guys were just on like not even another level. They were just like on another realm in terms of like the G Funk era and all that stuff. And you know, a lot of these Chicano rappers, I think they put themselves on that same pedestal but i never felt it even back in the day you know i recall a guy at music plus he was begging his mom to buy him here comes the night owl and that's the only reason i knew even knew about night owl but i listened to one of that guy's songs and i just couldn't get into it man all, all good right. you know all what right, no, and that's that's your personal preference and, and and i get where you're coming from um but yeah. there are artists there are yeah, artists out there that, that have like real raw talent it's just a matter of discovery. Not not every artist that's mainstream or has has a uh, the the spotlight on them always has the talent. Yeah. There's always somebody yeah. might have the spotlight for the wrong reasons or just for their image or for the today you know, whoever calls the most desmadre exactly whoever calls the most drama who who yeah. sheds light. But yeah, like like you're right though. I agree with you 100 percent as far as the 90s, yeah. the the sound of the 90s, like that that's the golden era of hip hop for me, bro. Absolutely. The West Coast. Yeah. For me personally, the West Coast for me, but even like the East Coast shit was was true hip hop, right? Yeah. What we can say. Cuz back then they spoke about Oh yeah. They spoke sure. about um they spoke about shit that actually mattered, bro. Shit yeah. that was Passionate to them Like I don't know If you've heard My music dog But what? I know I'm being Interviewed by Tony A I'm pretty sure You know Tony A But if you were to Actually dive into My music yeah. I speak on shit Where where I'm not Trying to uplift My culture Where I'm trying to Speak on atrocities That's been going on Very similar to The old school hip hop And that's why I think I differentiate yeah, myself yeah. from most artists because I'm not rapping about gang banging. I'm not rapping about fucking bitches every day, and not that I don't do that, but I'm not. Ra <laughs> I'm not rapping about drug dealing and shit like that. You know what I mean? There's there's bigger and better, yeah. more important topics out there. So I I would uh, uh just but, I would yeah, encourage you to yeah. check out my music, bro, because I think you might be pleasantly surprised by a Mexicano like me who can duplicate or at least try to imitate some of that stuff that they were doing in the '90s, where it's actually real hip pop with a true message dog yeah but even like the production back then it was just like now like you can't even get that kind of production anymore because you know the a lot of the like the synthesizers back then it yes. just produced like a different level of just like air and just like even just like the mpc 2000 the uh <laughs> that air thing called the uh, you know, well, people people will say that, that fd twelve hundred. People will say today's music is too what? clean, right? Some people say it's too clean. It's too it it's is. too digital. Like yeah. the old school, you can hear like the the static in the background and different stuff like that. It's a different vibe, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, I've heard that before. Yeah. I think yeah. DJ Quick talked about that once yeah. on an interview. You can you can feel the warmth in the sound, bro. It's, it's different, bro. If you have a right. engineer yeah. ear. You'll be able to tell. But even like today, like I think he's saying with the technology we have, it sounds too clean, too crisp. Absolutely. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That could be yeah. instrumental to an extent, I Absolutely. guess. Absolutely. When we're talking about music shit. Thank you, caller. I appreciate yeah, you coming, bro. That, yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Hell yeah. 
Hey, but check check me out, dog. Check check me out, dog. Check. I'm right there. Hypnotic, G rooted. I think you'll be surprised by some of the music I have, bro. And as far as the subject matter, and and trying to keep the actually like you know to be honest, trying to keep hip hop alive as far as what I rap about. I'm not doing what everybody else is doing. Like I said, you know what I'm saying. Can can I can I can I ask you something? Yeah. Can I ask you something? Um, would you be willing to bust the freestyle? Live, yeah, on Rhodium Radio. On Rhodium Radio, is well, we can't play no yeah. beats, right? It has to be a cappella type shit. Um, no, no, yeah, bust that shit. <laughs> this will put me on the spot. Do you, you want to play the intro music? <laughs> Fuck it, dog. It? <laughs> I gotta earn this. Fu- this go, fan go right here. It. No, no, the intro music. Do you have it on instrumental or no? Let me take another shot. Yeah. Oh, oh, go, the, go. The, uh, the I'll, intro music. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate uh, I'll you. A, I'll appreciate do a beat box. No, no, we're going we gonna to play a beat right now, dog. I got you. Go okay, all right. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, you sound like Buffy from the Fat Boys. <laughs> yeah, Fat Boy. That's some yeah. Fat Boy yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah re- rest in peace, Buffy. Absolutely, my bro. So hey, I'm, where'd you say you were from, big dog? Santa Maria. Santa Maria. Uh, Santa Maria. What I live. Yeah. 805. Yeah, go bust it. Yeah, just play whenever you're ready. Go. They want to put me on the spot. I got to do it. Call it. Came in, dog. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Rolling. Radio. Yo. I got that crazy flow. Rodeo. Radio. I do this on the daily, bro. Yo. Sipping more bellows. I'm a handsome ass fellow. Hello to the rukas out there. Every time they see me, man, they stare. Ooh, yeah, little glare, little, let me see what's up in that underwear <laughs> I don't care, I'm just doing what I do though Get up in the mix, I'm a motherfucking fudo Let me stick that dick in that culo You know how a motherfucker do, bro Yo, man, the flow so cold Get up in the mix, I'm loco Chicano from the West Coast LA all the way to Dago Spitting fuego, yeah, they know All you motherfucking lanes lay low uh, I'ma give your ass a halo Cause I fucking kill you with the fucking flow Unforgettable, unforgettable Get up in the mix, homeboy Individual psycho, motherfucker I know something like Michael Myers or Biden The way Tony A said <laughs> Get up in the fucking head Doing what I gotta do, homie Stacking that bread Fucking with me, you gon' fucking end up there In the pavement, homie Behave it Tony A God damn go, go. Okay, okay Hey, give, give, give my hand clap, bro. Thank you, my brother. You know That's what the I top, that. dog. That's the top, bro. That's dope. That's dope. That's hey, thank you dope. for putting me on blast. Thanks for calling me out, dog. The, the caller, homie. Thank you, caller. Shout out to you, dog. Hey, this was like hey, bust man, a freestyle. Uh, that was that was that was dope. But you did say you put a dick in the culo. Yeah, I was talking about bitches, though, dog. <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> Hey, okay. don't, that's that's a dream, bro. I was referring to bitches, dog. Yeah, yeah. Just was, so we're clear, dog. Hey, like, bro. When, try, man. when a when a girl hey, gives your you, hold on, when a girl gives you her chiquito, marry her. <laughs> All right, my bro. We out of here. Thank you. Oh, Peace. Shit. Yeah. We out of here. Thank you, bro. Oh, that was dope, dog. That's what it. Freestyle, homie. Yeah. <laughs> That shit was dope, bro. I like that shit. That's cool on the fly type of shit. Exactly, bro. Like, fuck it. You know what I mean? Exactly. (laughs) All right, Hypnotic. Anything I didn't ask you, anything you want to promote, anything you want to say, anything, whatever. Uh, Yeah, real quick, dog. Like I said, uh, uh, February 22nd, I do have a new album. I'm not uh, a new single, new video. It's called Like the West. Really uh, West Coast, old school vibes. Shout out my boy Hank Figs for producing it. Our keys on the hook with the talk box. Um, like I said, man, I've been doing a lot of shows, man. My focus has been primarily on the shows, but I never slacked on actually recording music. So I got a whole bundle of music, yeah. man, that I'm going to be releasing this year, yeah. including my album called The Lonely Fool. You know, because life on the road, bro, doing yeah. these shows, when you're focused on business, lonely. it does get lonely, dog. Lonely, lonely I'm for long. <laughs> but uh, uh, I do. I, I've been promoting this song "Lonely Fool" on my page for like over a year, bro. And everybody's always asking me when you gonna drop it. When you gonna drop it? I'll let you know for sure. It will be this year. 
before the summer, dog. Like, like I said, I already have the album. I, I've been putting in so much work that the music's already done. It's just a matter of organizing it and planning out the dates and stuff. All that tedious work I was telling you about, bro. Be, but, but because I don't have a record label, I'm yeah. doing it all by myself. And because I have a full-time job and I still do this music, you know, time is scarce. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm still getting yeah. swole at the same time, dog. So, you know what I mean? Time is scarce. Luckily, I don't have a kid right now because if I did, that would be crazy. But just so y'all know, the Lonely Fool album will be dropping this year. My fans have been asking for the Lonely Fool yeah. single, and it's going to come out this year for sure. Uh, but, yeah, Tony A, thank you for having me all here, good, dog. All good, my brother. You know thank you, saying? bro. And shout out to the, to the Raza, homie. First of all, shout out Eden, the Justice 8. That's uh, my main priority, to be honest, is just uh, have more platforms out there speaking highly of him, speaking on behalf of him, because I've seen Homeboy and the work he's done. I've been there yeah. and seen the positive work he's done. Because the, the, the opposition is trying to paint a, a negative picture about him. But we yeah. got to make sure the public knows that he's a genuine dude, dog. That's my Homeboy. And when I can, if I can ha provide a platform to bring awareness to that shit, that's what, I, that's what I'm supposed to do, dog. Absolutely. Absolutely. Alex, did we get any super chats? No, just go ahead and read them off again, bro. Let's give, show them love. Okay, uh, Ray dropped 199. They said, uh, shout out to all the haters that make us succeed. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. Enrique Ledesma dropped 199. He said, Tony would rap like Mix Master Spade. A Mix Master Spade, and I'm ready to rock. Let's go. Enrique Ledesma also dropped another 189. He said, what a way to close out the show. Rodeo Radio number one. Absolutely. Feed me, feed me. Okay, before I give my shout-outs, I'm going to say something to all you podcasters. Um, you know what's crazy? The, all the podcasters that hate, hate on me, they have one thing in common. They're all ugly. <laughs> like, they hate on the good-looking guy. It's no different from high school. They all get together. Fuck that guy. So... Say, say some more. Say some more, dog. Come on. How you feeling it, fool? No, you ain't done, fool. Come on, dog. Fuck. What I, else, dog? What else they got in common? That, like, they're just miserable, and they got Wi-Fi, and they got a camera, and they go live and talk shit. Fuck, Tony. <laughs> fuck this. Fuck them. You guys are all ugly, bro. Nobody cares about you guys. No girls lust after you. No girls want you. One of them looks like a fucking chipmunk. The other one looks like a fucking blue pebble. And the other one is a, f a fucking ma straight cuck. And Anyways. what you think of that freestyle, dog? Come on, I ended with the freestyle. What, homie. You, what you, other you, artist has done that, You asked dog? me for more, so I'll, I'll get to that. Okay. So other than that, uh, yeah. It, it, they jerk each other off. <laughs> they all 69 each other. Thinking about me. I don't know why. But anyways. But, bro, you know what? I fucking, I really fucking enjoyed it. And I'm thankful that I had a somewhat an up-to-date beat. I produced that beat, bro. Oh, that shit was hard, That dog. shit was like a five-minute beat. I'm, I'm going to be real with you. I would have went on for five minutes, fool, if you let me. It was like a five-minute, <laughs> like, boom, ba -dum, boom, okay? Boom, -dum, boom, real West Coast. Boom, that shit was hard, boom, dog. Boom, Come on, fool. Then, I was spitting on that shit, dog. Come on that, dog. And then... Bro, that's off the top, bro. That's four tracks right there, mm. and that's my new intro. Feed me. So, anyways. Hey, it sounded like Hypnotic sounded really good on that bro, shit. Bro, I love, I love your shit, bro. I'll, I'll, <laughs> if you ever want a track, let me know. I'll give you a good price. <laughs> <laughs> no, so. just give me a percentage of the royal. I'll give, you a per I'll give you a percentage of my royalties. Yeah, Spotify will now. pay me pennies <laughs> in 10 years. <laughs> but if we do the right production behind it, dog, you never know what can happen, homie. So, other than that... We'll get uh, magic on it. Ask for some favors, dog. Come on now, dog. You got it like that, fool. I got her like that. Make so. it blow up, dog. Okay. Other than that, I um, want to give a shout-out to Elector Cervantes, Cervantes Enterprise. I'm going to give a shout-out to the News and Orbeez. I'm going to give a shout-out to my co-host, Marvelous Inc. I'm going to give a shout-out to the Hip Hop Jedi. To my son, B. Scanners, and to our moderator, Magic Girl, I'm going to tell you right now, she's no longer going to be known as Magic Girl. She's Forever Genesis. Her album's almost complete, bro. I think for women, especially Chicana women, her album is going to change music, bro. Yeah. Going to change music. I'm going to be real with you. Everybody knows her for this talk box bullshit. Right. No, there's no talk box. So Nice. Uh, other than that, I want to give a uh, shout out to everybody in the live chat, everybody that gave money, everybody who called in. Everybody in the super chat, everybody who liked, comment, subscribed, everybody who disliked, 
everybody who this does, it doesn't matter. You guys still watch. So much love and respect to all you ugly ass podcasters who hate on me. Other than that, um, hypnotic. Thank you. Much love and respect. Bro. Always, it's always, always a fun good time, getting though. drunk with you. So um, <laughs> other than that, Alice, take us away. We're out of here. See you guys here on Friday. Freaky tales on February. February freaky tales. Freaky tales February. We're out of here. I'll be back.